Yo! What's going on, everybody? You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. A little Sunday night action against the Milwaukee Bucks, an Eastern Conference showdown, and maybe a little bit of a preview of what round two in the Eastern Conference playoffs could be. We got a lot to talk about in the pregame show. And let's just dial it up right now, baby. Can I get a real one roll call down in the comment section? Already 67 people watching. Give me a real one roll call. Where are they at? My guy Anthony Serrano in the building. Joey DeLuca in the building. What up, man? Creed. Salute. Salute to my brother Creed. What's up, man? What's happening, brother? Anthony Danaher in the building. Are you still our... Wasn't Dana Her like in some country? What didn't he say he was in Japan or something? Was it Dana Her? I thought Dana Her said he was tuning in from Japan and he had to go to like NordVPN.com and <laughs> do some illegal streaming or something like maybe that. Maybe I maybe I missed that last game. After yeah, the that might have been we didn't show up for work that day. It yeah, might have been that day you didn't show up for work. I mean I could have been so enamored by the Bulls win last game <laughs> that I might have missed that, but He said, No, nah, I'm not sure. I swear I thought you said you were out of the country. Uh, well, obviously, you are out of the country when it comes to America. I know you're in Australia. Did you, didn't you take, like, a vacation or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about things. Maybe I made it up. Maybe I just made it up. Joey DeLuca Jeez. getting us started with a dollar super chat. Shout out to Joey. That's my guy right there. Happy Sunday, brother. How you doing, man? How are... I do remember. I thought it was you for some reason, Dana. Her. I thought it was you, but hey. Good to have you in the building. My man, Mr. Z says, got money on the Bucks. That's messed up, bro. Come on, That's bro. Up. Larry T from Harlem. He was in the building, and then he deleted his chat, so hopefully he's still here. We got Mr. Rick. What's going on, Mr. Cha? Good to see you. Genuine Colin in the building. Mind Bend NYC in the building. What up? Carl, hanging out with the cool kids. What up? Jorge Herrera, what's up, what's up? Anthony Danaher, always in the building. Johnson U says that freaking course. A freaking course Giannis is playing tonight. <laughs> Everybody always doesn't miss games against the Knicks. Yeah, SGA was doubtful and then questionable and then played, and he hasn't played since against the Knicks. Yeah. Everyone wants to play in, in New York, man. Everyone wants to play in the – I know it's Whether in Milwaukee it today, but – whether it's injuries, refs, I mean, Knicks fans will find an excuse for the game. Especially Johnson. I'm back, I'm, I'm back on your guys' side today. Oh, my goodness. What up? What up? Sammy says Marshall's YouTube channel shimmers with captivating content, drawing viewers into a world of adventure and knowledge with each upload. Marshall's passion and expertise shine. Sammy, wow. you are a legend. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Larry T's back. Says the Cavs lost. They did. The Cavs did lose. And we'll take a look at the Eastern Conference standings around the corner. Sweet baby Jesus says Jesus here. Or that might be Jesus. That, that's on me. Jesus says middle of jungle in Thailand with my monkeys. Let's Ooh. go, Knicks. Be safe, man. Be safe yeah. out there. As the Bronx boy. The Bronx boy's in the building. What's up, man? What's up, Bronx boy? What up, what up? Shout out to everybody in the building. We appreciate you guys. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon for the kids. Goes a long, long way. We've been showing some Patrick Seatman prize picks lineups recently. They haven't been cashing. So we're going to show one that's going to cash today. Prize picks must have not heard when Doc Rivers said Giannis is on a minute restriction and he's not going to be playing regular minutes again until the playoffs. So I'm going to go with the less on like points, it. rebounds, and assists for Giannis Antetokounmpo at 43 and a half. And I believe Jalen Brunson playing against the Bucks with no Patrick Beverly, probably being guarded by Malik Beasley, or I hope it's not Damian Lillard. That's bad news for them. I'm going with the more on the points, rebounds, and assists for Brunson. Last two games he's played, Seeps 35 points, 10 assists. First player in New York history to ever do that. He's wow. hot. He's heating up. The Knicks need him to continue to do so. Play prize picks. Roll with my picks or fade my picks. Just play prize picks at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And use that promo code CLNS in prize picks. The number one daily fantasy sports app will match your first deposit up to $100. My guy Nick Davidov in the building. 
Give me some eye emojis in the chat for Nick Davidoff. Shout out to him. And as we start today, Seeps, the New York Knicks are essentially tied for third place in the Eastern Conference with the Magic and with the Cavs. Yeah. All three teams have a winning percentage of .584. And right now the Magic are up 17 in the first quarter against the Bulls. So can chalk Nice, them up. nice. Bulls must have got really, really uh, excited about a win that they had on Friday night. They're tired. They They're had tired. to play a day yeah, and a half yeah, yeah. later. Come on. Agreed, agreed, agreed. So technically right now, the Knicks are tied. They are technically in fourth. Yeah. The Magic win, you're going to need to win to stay in fourth. You lose today, you're going back down to the fifth seed. And the Indiana Pacers, they look like they're going to beat the Miami Heat. Yep. Every game from this point. Yeah, even so like the Sixers there, two and a half games back. You, I mean, Knicks lose today. That's a two-game lead only. Um, and then it's what, Bulls again on Tuesday, and then I think it's the Nets and then Bulls. Is that how they're closing it? They got, they got, they got the Bucks today. They got the Bulls on Tuesday. Then I think they play the Celtics. Celtics. And then yes, they play the Nets. And then they play the Bucks, uh, Bulls again. Yeah. Yeah, another back-to-back -back next week. Dana Her. Your boy Dante Exum's been pretty good this year. I saw he just had a game winner or something like that. Or like a go-ahead shot in OT. Big shot, big shot. But yeah, big game today. Yep. You see the Eastern Conference right here in the standings. Uh, my question to you guys is this. Who do you want to play in round one? Is this a bit in the chat right now? Is this a bit? <laughs> I was I kind of looked at it. Are these bots or you guys are complimenting Marshall in MOA format right now? Yeah, are y'all are these real people? <laughs> I don't know. Is Champ Seven Nine Seven a real person? Dude, I mean, it's an Islanders logo on his profile. Sammy? Page. Oh, I knew Sammy wasn't a bot. Yeah, we're real. Okay, Champ. All right. Well, I appreciate the kind words from both of you. Marshall is an exceptional individual, embodying both charisma and integrity in every endeavor he pursues. His dedication and kindness inspire those around him, making him a truly remarkable person. Then we got Lou. Lou coming in the building as well. This seems like a bit. Yeah. This seems like a bit of some sort. I guess we got left out on the inside joke. Lou says Marshall is an exceptional individual, embodying both charisma. He copy and pasted. Get your own bit, Lou. Marshall's basketball channel dazzles viewers with expert analysis, electrifying game highlights, and insider interviews, creating a slam dunk experience for fans worldwide. A slam dunk experience. I just That's don't the way know I would this call it. Real. I don't know if this is real. I've never. It, it is what it be. It is what it be. What up, Pinto? What up, Cowboys? Johnson, you, Marshall, oh your God. commentary illuminates the game with passion and insight, making every Knicks fan match a richer experience for fans. It sounds like if you just like put in AI, compliment a YouTuber that <laughs> watches basketball. This is what we're getting. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Exactly, Creed. Exactly. Remember when Creed started off on our shit list seats? Because he was requesting shit. money from us on Cash App. Look how far we've come. Look how far we've come, Creed. Marshall is an exceptional individual embodying. F this way too much to type. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I was feeling, Bronx Boy. That was the exact Bronx uh, Boy response. It was I respectfully did. F Creed, but now we love Creed. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, was, it, was, it, was, respectful. it was respectfully Creed. Go F yourself. But. And now it's Coach Tally. I think Coach Tally. Coach Tally is. It, he, that dude. He stinks. Yeah, or I'm that, kidding. Or I that love Coach Tally. I love getting under his skin. He loves himself some Julius Randle. Torn's got it. F. Rolly. Exactly. Levi's the best. Coming in with a $5 super chat. Shout out to my brother. Says, what's good, Martian Seeps? Let's get this win versus the Milwaukee Bums. Let's go, Knicks. Let's get the two seed. And on Tuesday, 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 we are going to beat the Chicago Babies. Oh, yeah. Tough loss for the Knicks last game. Yeah, tough, tough loss. Y'all really came out and, you know, kept that momentum rolling in a big game against the Magic today. 
game's not over. We're only down 12 now. <laughs> Ridiculous. We're fighting. Jay Liv, ex- Marshall's remarkable, remarkable in excellence in everything he undertakes. His genuine compassion and selflessness shine brightly, earning him the admiration and respect of all you. who know him. Yeah, Levi's, Javante Green. He, uh, <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Sammy, you're such a sweetie. Sammy is a I, sweetie. I feel like they actually are putting this in, like, chat GBT. I and do, then, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to fire up chat GBT right now. These are two Anthony Day and her. They're killing me with kindness. Compliment. Champ 797, you're the one. You're the one, not the two. F Dame, you took Brunson. Yeah, F Dame. Dame, F Dame lowered. F Dude, Dame lowered. it is chat GBT. Is it? Look at this. Everybody watch her. I'm about to put in the chat right now. Oh, it's too long. I go compliment Carl Jean Baptiste. It is literally the same thing. Is it really? You guys, you guys are chat GPTing me with nice words. If Marshall has a million fans, I am one of them. If Marshall has ten fans, I am one of them. If Marshall has no fans, that means I am no more on the earth. Go Knicks. I thought you guys were coming up with this. You, you, you possesses a remarkable blend of intellect, dedication, and kindness that truly sets you apart. Your <laughs> unwavering commitment to excellence and your ability to inspire those around you. Carl, that's exactly that's you, Carl. what you do, baby. Every day. Every day. Every day. To this day. To this day. What well, up, Torn says, if Josh Hart didn't get ejected, we would have beat the Bulls. Yeah, uh, agree. Agreed. Well, you guys are already down 12 with 10 minutes into the game with Josh Hart. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily agree. Go on, I can see it. You guys can't All I'm saying front, is he's wearing a bull shirt today court. and it's pissing me off. <laughs> he's wearing a bull shirt today and it's pissing me this off. This was strategic, everybody. Do we make him put on the Knicks jersey again today to cover up Benny the Bull? Price is up. Price is up? $500. $500 and you're putting the Knicks jersey on today? Price is up. That's a deal. That's a deal. Um... Sammy, you're funny. What's up, 4K Anthony? 4A says Marshall should be coaching the Knicks. We'd be in first. Facts. Facts. Champ. Oh, you're so sweet. You guys are sweet. <laughs> KJ <laughs> McMecca, what up, man? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Joey DeLuca hanging out. Lionel Morris. Monis, excuse me, says first quarter, first quarter slow start is a problem. Yeah, I'm looking for the Knicks to come out fast today. Yeah. They've, they've struggled coming out of the gates. Um. Oh yeah, Carl. I didn't. I uh. I was. I was in bed all next day. Yeah, Carl. See us and the crew, Rolly and the real ones. Myself. We went out after work that day. Seeps didn't go. I just went home. Yeah, so that was bad. Couldn't do good. Champ seven nine seven. I've given you more than a shout out, brother. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. McMecca, how we doing? John Pettit, what up? Juan in the building. Yes, sir. What's up, Juan? Is Bogey still questionable? Yes, we have not gotten wording on that. Josh Hart did just speak on the flagrant two call, said I'm not sure what he was thinking because he was because he was later like, oh, intent doesn't matter and yada, yada, yada. But then he told me I looked at him and kicked him, which obviously implies that I intended to. Is that Happy birthday to Johnson U, man. No happy way. birthday to Johnson U. J.U., happy birthday, dude. Long-time viewer of the channel. Fifth birthday this month. Shout-out to Johnson U. Happy birthday, brother. As Boyan was labeled as a game-time decision, I don't know if that has been changed yet. Creed says Bogey is out, but I haven't seen anybody say that just yet. He is out. He is? Or at least he's just not on the er- – Nope. Tommy Beer just said Bogey is no, active and available to play tonight. Yeah, he just got taken off the report. Bogey is playing. Been hot. He sucked against Chicago. Yeah, true. I forgot. It was the two games that he he did start off the game making his first couple, but then it was the it was him and who else was turning the ball over. OG also not on the injury report, Johnson. You that's big stuff. That's big stuff. Look at Danny McGrath wishing Johnson you a happy birthday. What's We're up, just guys? one big happy family celebrating Johnson you all month. Shout out to J.U. Shout out to J.U. 
Carl wishing him a happy birthday as well. Shout out to Carl. Look at Johnson, you being a sweetheart in the chat. If Milwaukee lost to Washington, the worst team in the league, and if we lose to them, that makes us the worst team in the league, says Ham Brothers 3X. Ham. That, that's exactly what it means. That is exactly how it works. Peter Merritt says, Marshall coaching, not. What are you people, on drugs? What are drugs? What are drugs? AJ showing Johnson you some birthday love. Expecting a solid four points from Bogey tonight, says Dana Her. Yeah. Um, how about he comes and hits some threes? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Who are you sticking OG on? Is he getting the Giannis assignment? Yeah, I'm putting yeah. him on Giannis. I'm putting him on Giannis. We've had a lot of people say a lot of nice things to us in the chat today. Let's start saying mean things. There's too much kindness in this chat right now. Yep. Let's see who can say the meanest <laughs> things about Marshall and Patrick. Who can say the meanest things? Expect Bronx Boy to win this. Yeah, Bronx Boy, he could definitely win. Uh, Johnson News says, I'm expecting some turnovers from Bogey. Yeah, I'm also expecting the sun to go down tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also expecting Precious to get out-rebounded again. It's been a pretty consistent theme. Oh, champ. Only if you were spelling my name right, champ. Two L's, brother. Two L's, brother. It's okay, brother. It's okay. Two L's. <laughs> exactly one year ago, my pops passed away. My brother Marsh was there to hold a brother down. I'll never forget that. Shout out to my guy, Carl. Carl, we love you. We appreciate you. There's a reason why, um, even though your takes are awful, we're always chopping it up and we're always hitting each other up and checking in on y'all. You're my guy, Carl. We love you, Brody. We love you, man. We love you. Special teams, special plays, special players. Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Anthony Danner says, I don't want to get banned. Hey, <laughs> Lou says, what up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Champ797 says, Marshall is so mean and terrible, making me handwrite this message because ChatGPT can't say something negative. I sniffed that out right away. <laughs> you were on that. You were on that. What's up, brother? If I do compliment Jalen Brunson. Levi's the best says word. I tried the same thing. Did you see Sketch out? Which I did. I did. That was funny. He is the hottest thing on the internet right now. Yeah. You think we can get him on the show? Sketch. Is he a New York guy? No. No. <laughs> Johnson, you think if I reached out to him and tried to get him on the show, he'd come on? Wait, so is he a big is he big on YouTube mainly? Or is it Twitch? Twitch and uh, TikTok Live. Really? Yeah. Really? Marshall still chubby and won that one-on-one -on -one basketball game by pure luck. Seeps is kind of underrated. Can't really say too much bad about him, except he has never won a boot race. Ever. <laughs> 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 Matthew Smithson <laughs> wins. Matthew Smithson <laughs> wins. Oh, my God. Sammy says Marshall is so mean and has from no friends. Marshall is a loser <laughs> who doesn't know anything about the Knicks and has the cappest channel, and every other Knicks channel is better. <laughs> uh, Bogey had a sore ankle. He had a little boo-boo. He'll be all right, though. He's playing. 5K, 4K says, yeah, Marsh, Cavs, the fourth seed. Yeah. That, I want to play the Cavs in round one. I want to be the fourth yeah. seed. I want to play the Cavs in round one and be the fifth seed. I need to take on Boston round two. Get it done there. If we win, we would be the fourth seed because the Magic are going to win and they have the tiebreaker over us. My guy Percival, PG, Percival Glasgow, says, Marsh, what do you think of the seeding so far? Let's pop it up. Let's pop it up. So this Let's is what the it. standings look like right now. If the season ended today, the New York Knicks would be the four seed, and they would be hosting a home court, hosting a playoff series in round one against the Cleveland Cavaliers. If the Knicks lose today, they will drop – Below the Cavs. They will fall back to that fifth seed. The Magic are going to win. They are dominating the Bulls. Um, so this is where we're at. So what would be your predictions here? First round Eastern Conference. It sets up Celtics, Sixers, Bucks, Heat, Pacers, Magic, Knicks, Cavs. 
taking the Celtics. I'll take the Celtics in six or seven. Then I take the Heat in six. Over the Bucks. Yeah. Then I take the Magic in four over the Pacers. I think that would be a sweep. Then I take the Knicks in six. I don't know. I don't know where they go from there then. Then it would be Magic, Magic Heat, Celtics, Knicks. I think best case scenario would actually be the Knicks get to the three seed 100%. and the Cavs fall to the six seed. Okay, so you would rather have Cleveland than Indiana. I think so. I, I think I disagree with you there. Something about Indiana and just the bad vibes of the what? past. I don't know. You, I don't know. You know that I feel like the Knicks would just physically dominate them. I, Who would y'all rather play in a first-round series, the Pacers or the Cavs? I think the Cavs would – I think the Knicks would be both, but just the revenge factor with Cleveland would definitely be in play. And I don't know, but I, but I, would, still take, I would still take the Knicks over either. Percival says the Cavs. Are, is the Magic the team you want to play the least out of those three? Like, I'd want to play the Pacers number one, then the Cavs, then the Magic. Yeah. Probably how I stack up on that. Probably how I stack up on that. Yeah, exactly, Johnson. You, TJ McConnell, always plays so well against us. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. That scares me a little bit. That scares me a little bit. Um... And, like, what if we just can't stop them? The Pacers? Yeah, like, just the up-and-down style. It's a different game in the off. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just I just don't think that it's a good matchup for Indiana. Because, like, Siakam's going to Siakam's gonna struggle with OG and the rim protection that the Knicks offer. I just think Hal Burton's going to average 18 and 8 in the playoffs on terrible efficiency. So I just, that's just how I think it's going to play out. Yeah. Orlando, I do, I, even though it would be the first time in the playoffs, Orlando would be a little scary. Just because of how big they are. That is true, PG. That is true. We haven't had OG against Indiana yet. Um, that's true. That's true. Bash, he says, I think we could beat the Pacers in six. They take first, we take second. Wait, they take first, we take second, we take third, they take fourth, we take fifth, we take sixth. John Pettis says, I think Magic and Pacers haven't seen us with OG. It's going to be a different game. Yeah. That's true. It is true. What up, Tamar Bowles? What's up, player? What's up? What up? What up? Champ says we have all our stars. We could. Yeah, I agree with that. Is it crazy to say the Sixers are the second best team in the East? I gotta see him be doing in the playoffs. Yeah. I haven't seen him elevate his game in the playoffs yet. That's true. Still have been really good, but has not elevated yet. And are, is Maxi ready to be the go to guard in a playoff series and have tape and film on him for, for two weeks? We're gonna find out. We are gonna find out. I think the Sixers are better than the Heat, Pacers, and Cavs. I'd probably take him over the Magic, but... Yeah. He does have that new Skechers deal, Dana Her. He does. He does. It is through. I want to see the Celtics first round. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you do. Levi's rolling with the Knicks. Yeah, I'm with you. Sammy rolling with the Knicks. I want to see a big game out of Hartenstein and Mitchell Robinson tonight. Yeah, they didn't play well against the Bulls. No, and they kind of got... I mean, they just got pushed around a lot, and the Bucks are a big team. You need to bring it. I mean, the Bucks' starting lineup of Dame, Beasley, Giannis, Middleton, and Brooke Lopez. It's, it's a, it is going to be tough.
Starting lineup tonight, it's going to be Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, OG Ananobi, Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hartenstein. That is the starting lineup tonight. Yeah, John Pettit, he doesn't look even close to 100%. He doesn't look really close to 100%. Hopefully over the next, you know... Over the next, what, it's April 7th, playoffs start on the 20th. Hopefully over the next two weeks, Robinson could start to get healthier and healthier. Um, he doesn't look right out there. He doesn't. He looks rusty. He looks out of shape. Um, and that's expected, right? You don't play basketball since the beginning of December, and you come back, you're going to be looking a little bit rusty and things like that. But um, Knicks are going to need him in the playoffs. They are. Willie says, come on, Nick. Yeah, I love the Knicks, but I see temperature. I see I see all the Knicks championships. I'm so scared that Hardenstein is going to leave it, leave the team. He's going to get a lot, big offer. He's going to get big dollars. Big dollars. Yeah, exactly, Pettit. Exactly. We can have an honest conversation and not, not exactly. Mary Beth says, I want Bogey to strap up tonight. Yeah, Knicks, Knicks need Bogey to have a good one. Um, he was questionable coming into today's game, but he is going to play. That's my guy Eric Trump in the building. What's up, ED? What's up, Eric? He says, let's effing go, Knicks. Get this win. Chicago slobs knob still F. Rowley. Always, my man. Eric Trump in the building. My man, we appreciate you. Good to see you, brother. Happy Sunday. Let's start the week off with the win. Let's, let's have a victory Monday tomorrow. A victory Monday tomorrow, and then let's get ready to go and beat the Bulls on Tuesday. Let's start the week out on the right foot, Eric Trump. I'm with you. Let's go. Dami says, I want Dante to focus on cutting and getting to the cup. I'm with you. Exactly, Matthew. It's only a matter of time, Right? Right? Kyle is tip off always 10 minutes after. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird the way they do that. Kind of weird. What's up, Bodega? The Bodega. What's Bodega. up, Bodega, man? What's up, man? Eric Wright in the building. Heather Ariza hanging out. What up? You know, uh, we kind of mentioned it at the end of the game against the Bulls. A big positive coming from that game, though, was I thought OG looked great. Um, I didn't think he looked slow at all. I thought offensively, I liked him like actually attempting to make a couple moves, like multiple dribble moves as well. Um, even though the loss was, you know, obviously you want to get a win there, but I think the biggest win of the night was OG looking sort of like his old self. Yeah, he didn't show any hesitation or any hitch in his jumper. Um, it looked good as the MSG wow. crew was showing some slow starts for the Knicks. Uh, they haven't won a first quarter in the last five games. After quarter one versus the Spurs, they were down 13. Against the Thunder, down three. Against the Heat, down 12. And now 15, then down 12 again. Knicks need to come out fast today. They can't play around with their food. Uh, they don't need to find themselves in an early hole against a Bucks team yep. who can shoot the cover off the ball. At least have shown the ability to do that. Um, let's not have to play perfect basketball for the final 50, 40 40 minutes of this game just so we can make it close in the fourth quarter. Got to come out fast. Got to come out fast. As my guy, Mr. Singleton, coming in with a $10 cash app. Mr. Singleton, we appreciate you, man. Thank you for always supporting the show, brother. You, my friend, are a real one. Thank you, Brody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bulls putting up a fight against the Magic. Are they coming back? Oh, let me check. Oh, yeah. It's only 12 now. Mark says, what's good, boys? Let's get this dub. I think with the couple of games left, I think we could take over the Bucks in the standings. When tonight would be huge. 
I feel like the Knicks played the Bucks like four times around the playing tournament or the in season tournament. They did. And now I, I feel like they haven't played them in months. That feels so long ago. That in season tournament. That feels like a different season. So the Cavs loss means that the Knicks are the fourth seed in the East right now. A win tonight in Milwaukee would move them to third. A loss would drop them to fifth. K B G B F Eula. What's up, man? Happy Sunday, brother. Happy Sunday. Brian Gatto says score prediction is prediction is 102.99 New York City. Jonathan Martinez, what's happening, man? What's happening? What's happening? We're 11 likes away from 100 likes. If you could, please hit that thumbs up icon for me. And if you have liked the video, drop a me. Drop a me in the comment section so I know who the real ones are. Oh, yeah, Levi's, we're down here in Dallas. We're going to get a great view of it. I'm excited. William Burton in the building. We're six likes away from 100 likes. Hit that like button for me. Let's go. Shout out to Cool the Goat. Cool the Goat of Soccer. Mean comments. Here you go. Seeps is that dude to ask to borrow five bucks while he got a dub in his wallet. <laughs> F the Bulls. F Seeps. D Rose is overrated. Seeps wow. is Dante's whack ass cousin. Damn, that was brutal. That's, dude, that was just way too far, Carl. <laughs> that was way too far. Bringing up D Rose in this. Really? Yeah, the really the D Rose was a low blow that I love. What are you gonna bring up, Lonzo next? Malcolm McBride, what up? What up, Brett? What up, Sammy? Joey, Bashy, Aussie, Mary Beth, Jorge, Matthew, Mary Beth, Danny, Work Hardy, Carl, K G B G F, Eula. Mary Beth says we need a new seep in Chenzo, <laughs> maybe for the playoffs. Playoffs, yeah, we could bring him back out. A little C. Pincenzo for the playoffs. And it's getting hotter down here, so it would, uh, it would work out good. Jaden says, y'all got your Eclipse glasses? Uh, no, no, I do not. So what happens if you don't wear the glasses and you go outside? Do you die? <laughs> I think you go blind. You just disintegrate? I don't know. How, I mean, though? Because the sun is being covered. Let me actually look this up. Because I, I have no idea. What happens if you look? Levi's the best says, I think you go blind. How, though? Like, the sun, we get it at a full full strength, and now it's covered. This is the number one. This is good SEO right here. This is Shea says, on. you get powers. We need some powers. It just says eye damage. If you look at it for a little, I think there's some crazy reflection or something, and it burns your eye like a sunburn. Uh, Bashy says, you will go blind. Dana Her says, send a Bulls fan out to check for you. <laughs> You become a Heat fan if you don't wear your glasses. That sounds awful. You get to file for disability wow. on Tuesday. <laughs> Dude, apparently this one uh, in 2017, she looked at it without glasses, and she had in her vision like a, like a dark spot that looked like the moon just permanently. So like she just sees like a little crest or a crescent. Sammy's being mean after being nice now. Jeez, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Mark says, go, Nick. What up, Marks? What up, Marks? Mark? Jeez, I can't even speak. He said, go, Nicks. I think we should look at it without glasses to get you guys a better report. Back-to-back -back games for Brunson. 35 points, 11 assists. First Nick ever with back-to-back 30-point -back 10 assist games. That's a good stat. Showing the new Bucks Arena. It's new? Yeah. Is this year one? Uh, two. Freaking sweet, though. Shakes says no ejections tonight. Yeah. How about no ejections tonight? I'm with you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 340 people watching. If you have it yet, please, please, please hit that thumbs up icon for us as we're about three minutes or so away from tip off here. Caesar says, are we second round exit? Um, it's 
going to just matter how, at this point, it just is going to matter who plays better. And that's the lamest answer to give you. But I believe if the Knicks play their A game, they can get to the conference finals. Will they do it? I don't know. As long as Scott Foster's not here, we're chilling. Exactly. Yeah, he was bad. I appreciate that. Get on my level. I appreciate that, homie. Gerard says, go Knicks. We need this win. You do. You do. Charles says, how about refs that aren't biased? <laughs> Heather says, beat the Bucks. I'm with you. Let's beat the Bucks. Let's beat the Bucks. Let's go get a win. I need a beer shotgun. I got it. I, I'm nervous a little bit. We get a fifty dollar super chat before the pregame. I'm doing a beer shotgun. Let's go. I got to get my mind right. It's Sunday. It's hoops. It's Knicks. It's Bucks. It's Eastern Conference playoff preview. Essentially, I need a beer shotgun. Let's go. Come on. Mary Beth says no Jason Goble and no Scott Foster. Thank God. I'm with you. Burns says all refs are biased against the Knicks. I think so. I think so, huh? You think so? What's up, Burton, man? How we doing, man? KB says, JB assist goes up. I love that. Not so much a fan of his turnovers going up, but no one's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, and he's never really been like a high assist player anywhere no. throughout his career. Um, he is a scoring guard. He is a scoring guard. But and, he... Like, Where he is now compared to last year, he's a much better playmaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like it, it hasn't really been decision-making. I feel like his handle's just been not as tight. Dana wants to know how's Boston looking at their Super Chats. Uh, I can tell you right now. Seeps will check it out. They're literally in the studio behind us, and I'm hearing her doing a lot of yelling. Being annoying, and it's pissing though. me off a little bit. I got Ali Barefoot to my left in the Boston Celtics Today stream. I have Nick Roloff, Roly in the studio to my right, and uh, they're not making a lot of noise today, so I'm not I'm yeah. not exactly sure. Sammy, they're... how are we going to get you on the show, brother? How are we going to get you on the show? They're at one thirty. Celtics is at one thirty. One thirty. One thirty. We're at forty seven. Cause William Byron coming in with a twenty dollars super chat. What up, man? What up, WB? Sammy, please stop spamming. Please, Sammy. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, shout out to William Burton, $20 super chat. Uh, Sammy wants to know, where do I live? What's going on here, brother? As Anthony Dana Hurt. Anthony Dana getting us ready to roll. As the tip is off, and we are underway in Milwaukee. First possession of the game. That's going to be a right wing three for Lopez. No good. Giannis with the offensive board. He'll kick it out, and they'll swing to Dame. Dame for three. Good. First TV timeout. I got a beer shotgun with Anthony Danaher's name on it. Let's ride. Knicks will bring it up. Dante has it on the left side. He'll get it to Hart at the top of the key. Middleton guarding him. He'll get it to Brunson. Brunson gets a screen from Hartenstein. He'll pull up 15-foot J. No good. Rebound by Giannis. OG going to be guarding on an Akumpo pretty much the entire night, I assume. Giannis takes him into the post. Drives to the baseline. Great defense by OG to cut him off. And then Giannis starts to limp around. Giannis doesn't look right. Middleton's going to post up. His fall away shot. No good. Good defense by Hart. And the Knicks secure the board. Brunson will bring it up. Guarded by Beasley. Goes behind the back. Has some space. He'll attack Lopez. He drives. Hands it off to Hart. Hart to Dante. Dante into the lane. Lays it up. No good. Hartenstein with the board. He kicks it out to Brunson. Brunson to Hart. Hart ripped through. Drive. Lay up off the glass. No good. Another board for Hartenstein. But this time he got it ripped away from by Middleton. Knicks miss a couple of bunnies right at the rim. Unable to get to the cup as Giannis posts up. Blocked. Giannis blocked. It's Knicks ball going the other way. Dante on the break. And then he'll slow it down in the half court. Brunson will handle. He's got it at the logo. He kicked it to Dante. Sloppy, sloppy start here for a Sunday game. 
Brunson up top, playing a little two-man game with Hartenstein. Lillard guarding him. I don't even need a screen. Clear out. Brunson drop off to Ihart. Ihart to OG. OG in the corner, guarded by Giannis. He's forced to take a step back, and it's blocked. Horrible. Knicks have not had a good offensive possession yet. Once again, they come out slow in the first quarter. You would think you would have a desired set and an action you want to go to, and there's another two minutes gone in the first quarter, and they haven't scored. I couldn't tell who blocked that Giannis shot. I think it was Hartenstein. I think it was Hartenstein from the weak side, but I felt like Dante had some pressure on there as well. Lillard off the screen. Guarded by Dante. Swings it to Lopez. Lopez now off to Lillard. Lillard and him playing a little two-man game. Good defense by DiVincenzo here. Five on the shot clock. Move your feet. Lillard behind the back to Lopez. He's going to have to thing. launch from 30. That one was halfway down, but no good. Rebound by Brunson. Come on, man. Brunson gets the screen, gets downhill, into the paint, floater up, and in and one, Jalen Brunson! He paints the scoreboard first for the Knicks, and the foul! Brunson looking to tie it up at three. Just got that high pick and roll look from Hartenstein, had Beasley on his back, was slow to and fast through the move. Brunson at the line looking for a three-point play. Brunson is 51 of 85 in the four games against the Bucks this year from two. Pretty damn good. Brunson gets the three-point play to go. We're all tied at three. We got 500 people watching. Hit that thumbs up icon for me if you haven't. Goes a long way. Beasley runs off a couple of screens. He'll stop and pop from three. That's no good. Rebound by Hart. Hart puts on the Jets. He's going to look to push. And then he'll slow it down. And he'll get it to Hartenstein up top. Ihart hands it off to Brunson, who's guarded by Beasley. He'll use the screen, gets downhill, turns the corner. He's into the lane. He's fouled again. He can't get it to go, but this time he's going to the line for a pair. Jalen Brunson has been getting wherever he wants here early. Seeps, that was a matchup we thought would have a lot of success for the Knicks. No Pat Bab tonight. If you're going to put Malik Beasley on Brunson for 48, you better hope God comes in as a sixth defender for you. And that's already a second foul on him, so I'm curious to see what Milwaukee does. I wonder if we're going to see some Andre Jackson. Gar, isn't that his yeah, name? Yeah, Andre Jackson. As Brunson misses the free throw. See them throwing Connaughton on him. The Bucks offense, like, it's just a bad offense, I feel like. I feel like they just had, they just run no sets. It's just like running pick and rolls or an ISO. It's just they got some talented players, so it's obviously going to work out. As Brunson knocks in the second free throw, Beasley stays in the game with two fouls. Dame will bring it up. I like having Dante on him. And then Damian Lord's going to be fouled on the ground while shooting a three. So no free throws. It'll be just Buck's ball side out of bounds. Lillard looking to throw it in. He'll swing it out to Lopez. Lopez now hands it off to Beasley. Beasley's going to turn the corner. Kicks it to Middleton. Middleton, rip through. Drive off the baseline. Floater up and in. Nice shot from Middleton. Too much separation there after the rip through against Hart. Knicks back down by one as we got 8.43 left to go in the first. Dante DiVincenzo will bring it up. Now the Knicks will swing it around. Ananobi hands it off to Hart. Trying to get the ball to Brunson off the ball. They'll get it to I Hart. Iheart now throws it, pass deflected and stolen. Another lazy pass from Isaiah Hartenstein. The theme continues from Friday night. Way too many turnovers from him. They're actually going to say this goes off the Bucks. Now the Knicks will have just 4.3 seconds to throw it in from the baseline. Brunson will be the one tossing it in. Looking, finds Dante. Dante in the corner, drives to the baseline, kicks it out to Hart. Hart's going to pull up from the foul line. Right hand shot, no good. Ball tapped out, though, by DiVincenzo. Goes to Ananobi. Ananobi drives. He tries to throw it down. No good, but he tips it up and in. He got his own miss. You're seeing Josh Hart not able to shoot threes. I should have told you guys. He said, he said he can't shoot a three right now with his sprained wrist. So he passed open a three. He got to the foul line, throws up the push shot, unable to go. So I wonder how long this wrist problem will Delay him as the Knicks give up an easy three there on the other end. Brunson drives in the paint. He's bumped. Looking for a foul. Doesn't call it. Can't only look to get calls, JB. You already got two this quarter. You're too good for that. Giannis drives on Anobi, and he takes it to the lane, and they get it to the foul. Wow. I'm not sure how that's a foul. Yeah. I, I, I Where's the that. foul there? He had his hand below, but 
I mean, Where? he just shoved him back. Where's like, the foul? I mean, he... Dude. You can't just lower your shoulder. Where's what the he, foul? Why did he touch him? Where's the foul? I swear, Giannis, great player. Nobody gets more calls than him and Dame in this league. I mean, the dude initiated contact on that. He bumped him back. OG wasn't... Like, he hit him so hard, OG wasn't near him. Whatever, but... He's got the best whistle in the league. I mean, I get, he's tough to officiate, seven foot. That yeah. wasn't a foul, though. Yeah, he wasn't OG was close. in legal defending position the entire time, and an OB got a shoulder from Giannis. That ain't a foul, man. Did they call it on... Brunson up top, guarded by Beasley yet again. He has him in the mid-range. He'll look to go to work. Now he swings the ball around to Hart. Hart's going to hand it off to Dante. He'll line up a three. That's going to be good. Dante DiVincenzo gets the three to go. And the Knicks cut the lead to two. Dame will bring it up. DiVincenzo guarding him. Him and Lopez playing that two-man game. Dame into the lane. He's fouled and won. That was a foul, but god damn, they are some floppers. Dante already with two fouls. He'll have to come out. McBride will sub in. Dame here looking to make it a five-point game with 7.17 to go. His free throw is good. The Knicks are down by five here early in the first. Another slow start for them. Haven't won a first quarter in their last five games. Brunson guarded by Connaughton now as Beasley has two fouls. He'll walk him into the post. Fall away. Too horrible shot. Way too difficult of a shot that early in the yep. shot clock. And now Middleton's going to drive coast to coast. Throws it up and in is Giannis. So you take a terrible shot and you allow a fast break bucket at, on the other end. That's just bad basketball. That's bad process there by the Knicks. Hartenstein up top, going to hand it off to Brunson. They'll run a little two-man game. Brunson guarded by Dame, has him at the foul line. He'll get a good, clean look, and he'll just miss it. He'll just miss it. Giannis will bring it up. He's going to attack the rim, lay up. No good, great defense by Ananobi. No bailout call by the ref this time. Brunson in transition. He's fouled. He got it to go, and one. And then they're going to say it was no continuation. One ref says yes. Another ref says no. How can it be a swipe down foul on the arm when he doesn't put it on the ground again and the continuation doesn't count? There's the foul. He took two steps. That should be a bucket. That should be a bucket. How is that not a continuation? I mean, you, Seeps, if I'm going like this for a layup and you swipe down and rake through my arms, I'm allowed to take one, two, and finish. I mean, the one ref called it continuation. Yeah, hopefully that heads the next direction right there. We already got a ref show in Milwaukee. Well, we are at the first TV timeout of the first quarter. Want to tell you guys about Prize Picks, sponsoring today's watch party versus the Bucks. And if you guys download the Prize Picks app, and when you're making your first deposit and use that code right down there, CLNS, we'll match it up to $100. It's a lineup Marsh cooked up uh, for tonight's game. As I'm liking it, I'm liking it, especially with Giannis on a minute restriction. Yeah, Doc said he's not going to be playing the minutes, uh, the regular minutes today. He has a little bit of an injury. He was questionable coming into the game. Um, we'll see where we stand. We'll see where we stand. Check them out. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. And Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app, will match your first deposit up to $100. I, I don't know how that's not an and one. I'm assuming they're going to look at it during the break. 
Is that something you can do? Well, I think if one, I think if two refs had different calls, I think they're going to talk about it. I mean, I'll be shocked. It's called the continuation 99 times out of 100. I still understand how it's not. I don't understand how it's not. Do you want to go grab me a happy dad and that shotgun yeah. tool? So I take this shotgun down for my guy Dana Her. Shout out to him. Anthony Dana Her. It's my man right there. It just really makes me unsure of what the rule is if that is not a continuation. If that's not a continuation, I don't know what the rule is. As it's not going to be a continuation, it'll be Nick's ball side out of bounds. Hartenstein hands it off to Brunson. Brunson in the corner to Hart. Hart's going to drive into the lane. Backdoor pass to JB. Smart cut. Lays it up and in. Brunson, another two on the board. Really? Oh, my gosh. That'd be a problem. As Lillard takes a three and flops and gets the call. It's a ref show. It's a ref show today. And these and Giannis and Dane both take 15 seconds for each free throw, dude. Watching the Bucks might be worse than watching when it was Harden and Embiid in Philly. Because that was a terrible watch. I mean, I don't even know why. Like, what, what's wrong with it as... BDL, Dame listen, misses the first free throw. Give me some BDLs in the chat. Ball don't lie. Got two more coming. Lillard's second free throw. Good. As Robinson will check into the game for the Knicks. Hartenstein will sit down. Seeps. Another slow start for the Knicks. You're going to be down seven points here in the first six minutes, and you've scored just 11. At one point, do you try something else? And now it's the same rotation where you're sending in Precious and Mitch Robb, try to go big. As Ananobi also sits down. So Milwaukee going with some size here with Portis in the game. Knicks down eight. Once again in the first quarter, another slow start. At some point... It Got to try something else, man. Hart hands it off to Brunson. Brunson up top, guarded by Connaughton. Gets a screen from Robinson. He'll pull up for three. Good! Jalen Brunson with a tough shot off the screen. Pull up trifecta. Cuts the lead to four. Middleton throws it to Dame. Dame from deep. No good. Long rebound, though, secured by Milwaukee. Can't let them beat you on the glass. You were dominated on the glass against Chicago. Can't have that tonight. Middleton throws it into the stands. That'll be a turnover. Knicks ball going that way. As JB will walk it up, a little horn set here almost. Double screens from McBride and Robinson. He's guarded by Dame. Gets into the lane. Step back. Dame flops. And then they call an offensive foul on Brunson. Come on, man. This is a horrible product. No, it is. Damon Lord is a loser. Middleton, corner three, good. Five point swing. Five point swing. As Brunson into the lane, kicks it cross court to McBride for three, no good. Damian Lillard is the new Kyle Lowry. Holy shit. The flopping from him is embarrassing. Lillard drives, layup. He oh flopped my. again and gets a call. He flopped again and gets a call. It's a whistle every damn possession, man. Look what the dude's play. That Where's is the a foul? foul? Where's the foul? Like, come on.
I don't get it. I don't get it. Just because he hits the ground and flops doesn't mean it's a foul. Because the Knicks are down by nine. Another first quarter where the Knicks don't show up. It's about to be six of seven of getting beat by double digits. Brunson handles on the right side. Guarded by Dame. Gets into the lane. Spin move. And he has to kick it out. Can't get to his spot. Now Hart will control. You're pretty much as Hart's going to force his way into the lane. Can't get anywhere. Five seconds on the shot clock. Achu is going to drive. He's doubled. He almost gets it stolen. He fires a fall away at the buzzer. No good. Knicks, though. Get it off. It's a rebound. Robinson does. And it's going to go out of bounds off Milwaukee. It'll be Knicks ball underneath because Robinson kept the offensive possession alive. So that's not a foul on yeah. Mitch Robb's putback? Nope. I mean. McBride will throw it in from the corner. He finds Brunson. 10 to shoot. Guarded by Connaughton. Here comes the screen from Robinson. He'll use it. You got Lopez and drop. Brunson eats it up. Air balls a shot. Hart with the board. Then it goes out of bounds. It's just a bad product. Fourteen points in eight minutes of basketball for the Knicks. They're on their way to giving up another thirty-point quarter. They're gonna go to Portis. He'll face up on a Chua jab step, rises up, jumper, no good. That one was halfway down, then it popped out. Rebound by Brunson. Brunson up ahead to Hart. Hart's gonna drive. Kicks it to Robinson. Fakes a handoff to Brunson. I don't know why. If Hart can't shoot, why are we running the offense on the perimeter through him so much? Brunson shaking, baking, gets in the lane, contact, lays it up, and in! And the foul! Jalen Brunson's been mugged this quarter, and he's going to the line for another three-point play. I mean, if Middleton's guarding Brunson, that is, that's dog food. Brunson at the line, trying to make it a six-point game. His free throw is up and in. Six-point game. Hart is injured. He has a sprained wrist. He said he can't shoot. Josh Hart has a sprained wrist. He said he can't shoot threes right now. 3.30 to go as the Knicks are down by six here early in Milwaukee. Lillard throws it inside to a wide-open Brooke Lopez who throws it down. Robinson not guarding anyone. Um, Robinson has been, I would say, pretty poor since he's come back. Yeah. Pretty disappointing. McBride up top. Swings it to Hart. Hart gets the screen from Robinson. It's going to be a defensive three seconds in the key. A technical foul coming up, and the Knicks will shoot one. My guy, Seal Pasito. He says, hey, Marsh, great work on the latest video. The Hart and Stein story did not appear on my feed. I heard it from you. Shout out to you, Seal. Thanks for being a real one. We appreciate you and we love you, man. We're lucky to have you. As Brunson knocks in the technical foul shot, lead cut to seven. Ball will stay with the Knicks. Yeah. Um, I asked the question, who would you rather have, Robinson or Hartenstein next year? And as every game goes by for me, it's really not even close. I think Hartenstein is a much better player. Hart. He'll pull up from the foul line. Shot off the back iron. No good. Rebound by Milwaukee. Dame will bring it up. His pass stolen by Deuce. Deuce now. Ahead of the break. Finds Brunson. He'll walk in. Open. Triple. No good. Gets his own offensive rebound. And then he throws it out to Deuce. He'll try from the corner. No good. Robinson can't get the board. It's loose. Hart comes up with it. He'll drive through the baseline. Kicks it out to Brunson. Brunson's got an open look. He freezes Middleton with the in and out dribble and lays it up and in. The left hand scoop for Brunson. Five point game. Middleton up top. Guarded by Achua. Gets the screen from Lopez. Pokes the ball away. Sold by the Knicks. It's a three on two break. McBride to Hart. Hart inside. Blocked by Lopez. Knicks recover the loose ball. Now they'll settle into their half court offense. As Deuce. Step back. Bang! Deuce McBride. Step back three. Knicks cut it to two. They're on a 9-2 run. 9-2 run. 
Willard being pressed up on by McBride. Gets the screen from Lopez. On the right wing. Back to him. He'll try a three from straight on. No good. Rebound by Josh Hart. And he'll look to go. Hart has it at the top of the key. Now they'll slow it down. They'll slow it down. And they're going to feature Brunson here. One-on-one -on -one versus Middleton. Clear it out. Brunson sizing him up. Crossover. Blow by. Floater. Up and in. Jalen Brunson. Ties it up at 25. Let's go, Knicks. Brunson has 17 of the Knicks' 25 points, Seeps. He's looking to get 50. There's nobody that can keep it. As Lillard him. drives, Knicks poke it away, and then he gets it back, and he flops, and he gets a call. <laughs> ah. I'm Dame. Ah. Dame is ah. actually, he's actually one of the more unwatchable players in the league now. Dame. Jesus Christ. Fucking loser. Ooh. Fucking loser. Always is. That's Dame. That's Dame every time he drives. Looks like he's doing ballerina out there the way he's freaking falling around. So are we out? Are we out? Yeah. What do you mean? With the HDs? Oh, yeah. I didn't see one in the fridge. None? Yeah. That'd be brutal. No. Damian Lillard is the new Kyle Lowry. He has to flop and cheat the game to stay relevant. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. For a guy that was mentioned as a top 100 player of all time, he is embarrassing the game of basketball. Ooh. Ah. Ah. That's Dame Lillard. None under the under the table. Yeah, it's Dame time means it's flopping time. It's flopping time. <sighs> brutal. That's brutal. That's tough. As Tom Thibodeau and Doc Rivers are wearing autism awareness shoes today. That's awesome. That's awesome. As Lillard at the line after flopping is uh makes the first. Niall, we appreciate the super chat, Brody. Thank you, bro. Says Dame Lillard plays. I don't I don't even agree with that because I don't see Caitlin Clark flop like that. I, no. He just plays he 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 flops. I'm not flopping doesn't mean you play like a girl, but what I will say is he's playing like a loser. He flops every time. Brunson walks him down into the paint. Layup no good. You got to finish that, JB. Two-point game. Lillard. Pull up. Three blocked by Robinson. Yep. He gets the loose ball. Knicks are going to run. Brunson should have shot that three right in Giannis' face, but he'll slow it down as we got 40 seconds left in the quarter. Brunson. One-on-one. -on -one. He freezes Giannis into the lane to a cutting heart. Oh Hart's layup God. smoked. That's three layups the Knicks have smoked this quarter. And now Giannis out and running. His layup good. Dude, did you see the way Hart shot that? Like it, like he had like a hitch in it. You could see the 
the wrap on his right wrist underneath the sleeve. Yeah, he's, he was clearly frustrated with it. Four-point game. 15 seconds left in the quarter. About a five-second shot clock, game clock difference. Lillard, or Brunson, up top. Drives on Connaughton. And the lane, he's pushed! No good. No call. He was pushed in the back by Connaughton. Now Giannis is going to bring it up. Tries to beat the buzzer. Throws it inside to Portis. Portis beats the buzzer. Knicks lose the quarter by six. Another quarter, the Knicks lose in the first by more than five points. I mean, come on, man. Grade the Knicks' performance so far. Um, for everybody outside of Brunson, I think it was a, about a D. For everyone outside of Brunson, I give it about a D. Um. Outside of Brunson, every other Nick shot 0 of 8 from 2. You're going to need some help, man. You're going to need some help. No Nick outside of Brunson has made a two-point shot. 17 first quarter points for Brunson. Someone's going to have to step up today. Someone... Someone's going to have to step up today. Here we go. Second quarter underway. It's Deuce, Hartenstein, Bogey, OG, and Hart. And an OB. Tanner turned it over. Got it back! And then turned it over again. Jeez. His back door. Swinging around. Portis, corner three. No good. Rebound by Ihart. As the Knicks will bring it up, Bogey will do the honors. He'll have it on the right wing, guarded by Connaughton. He'll swing it to Hartenstein up top. He'll now hand it off to him. Bogey has it, swinging to McBride. Ten on the shot clock. McBride has it to Semper. He had the defenders rumbling and bumbling. He'll kick it to OG for three. No good. Rebound by the Bucks. Here comes Connaughton the other way. He'll get it to Crowder. Now he'll swing it around to Giannis. Giannis up top, puts it on the deck. He'll pull up from 17. Good. That's tough. Knicks down eight. Knicks down eight. Hart swings it to Bogey. Bogey step through into the paint. Floater up and in. Strong move by Boyan Bogdanovich. Knicks are going to need him to start producing when it comes to points. As they are down Randall for the year. Connaughton up top. Guarded by Deuce. Swings it to Giannis. Giannis inside to Portis. He'll face up on Hartenstein. Now back him down on that left block. Portis fall away. Left hand hook. No good. Rebound by Hart. Hart will bring it up. He looks to be moving quickly. He'll find an open boy on in the corner. He'll step up. 15-foot baseline shot. Bogey, good. Sometimes he looks so surgical on these moves. Yeah. Like it's just a machine. And other times, he looks like a fish out of water. Hopefully yep. today he's locked and loaded. The old man game. 
And an OB. Guarded by Gian or you're guarding Giannis. Giannis drives foul in one. I mean. Josh Hart, just get out of the way. Where where was the contact? Hard on the hip? Yeah. I wish Brunson got touch fouls. I wish if you touch Brunson, he got fouls. He gets decked midair and on game winners and doesn't get fouled. Yeah, Vasquez, Hart doesn't look too good. Hart doesn't look too good. Giannis at the line. Bucks up six. Chance to make it seven if he makes this free throw. It's up and in. Knicks down seven early in the second quarter. And an OB up top, hands it off to Dante. As you got Dante, iHeart, Bogey, Deuce, and OG. Bogey up top, finds a cutting Hartenstein. Hartenstein looking, going to post up now on Portis. He'll take a baby hook. Good. Strong offensive move there by Hartenstein. As Connaughton will control, swing it to Giannis. Giannis getting downhill, Euro step into the lane. Good. That's tough. That's why he's one of the best in the league. Mixed back down by seven. McBride up top. Swings it to Ananobi. He'll hand it off to Dante. Dante comes off some screens. He'll line it up from three. No good. Horrible shot. Man, he takes some really difficult shots for no reason. Is this A.J. Green? Yeah. Right wing. Going to get it to Giannis. Giannis guarded by Deuce. He'll drive. Spin move. Drops it off to Portis. Portis layup. Good. Knicks can't stay in front of Giannis right now, and it's creating so many open quality looks for everybody else. Ananobi needs to draw do better. 14 already for Giannis. Tough ask, obviously. Having one of the best career or seasons of his career, but I mean bogey. Devo, get down. Makes it just a step late. And also, you uh, you were right. Devo takes a lot of bad shots. Like, Too I understand many. he kind of has to, but you right there early on in the shot clock. You can get to that shot whenever you want. Like, he always loves, like, when he, like, puts it out one time, and it's like kind of like a fake step back type of move, which, I mean, he's hit a lot, but a lot of these from are, are from 35 feet with the hand in your face. I mean, Burton, I actually actually feel like the Knicks had some good offensive possessions without Brunson on the floor. Bogey got to those two looks. Uh, Hardenstein had the nice move. It's just defensively, they're just getting killed right now. <clears throat> Achua on Giannis, please no. Just the Knicks just feel really small right now. No, Will, I always said Mitchell Robinson, one of the best individual defenders on Giannis, if he's playing, you know, 10 feet off him. Um, I wouldn't hate trying to go to that because OG's just uh, not doing a good job right now. Any Boyan to be Boyan to make a legit playoff run? Just feels like we don't get any, any any easy buckets anymore. Yeah. That's Tom Saunders. What's up, man? <clears throat> Thank you for supporting the channel. Says Nick's lately making grown men and women cry, including me. Let's go, Nick's. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank you so much. Tom, yeah. Ah. You lose this one. This will be four losses out of five games. Four out of five losses if you lose tonight. 
Knicks would quite literally be limping into the playoffs. As Bogey comes out off the possession, banks it up and in. Boyan Bogdanovich looking to get it rolling here. He, uh, he's up to six points, I think, already. Knicks down by seven, 840 to go in the half. They're going to post up Giannis, guarded by Ananobi. Now some help from Boyan. OG needs to get back on him. He does. Giannis pushing, spin move, kick, green, three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Good defensive possession there by the Knicks to force it out of Giannis's hands. Bogey has it, looking. Guarded by the smaller Connaughton. Rises up, he's fouled. If you're going to put Pat Connaughton on Bogey, he needs to go to work. Bogey going to the line for two. He has done a way better job of just getting to his spots as of late. Yeah. I mean, dude, he's, I mean, what is he, 6'8"? Yeah. Probably 6'7". Like, I mean, he's got really good size on him. Oh, I love the way he's been playing. It's just that old school game. Bogey at the line, first free throw good. If he's able to get into a groove, that would be awesome. for a guy that's a career 40% shooter hurts. Second free throw, bogey, good. He's up to eight points. Three of three so far. Five-point game, 8.15 to go. Giannis controlling, guarded by Ananobi. He'll swing it to Middleton, who Deuce will pick up. Puts it on the deck, drops it off to Portis. Portis, 16-footer, good. Seven-point game. Knicks have not beat Milwaukee this year. They lose today. I believe they'll be 0-5 versus them. Dante has it. Swings it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein to Bogey. Bogey. Nice pump fake. A flop from Tur It's a block. Thank God. That was not a charge. That was not a charge. That was a block. Good pass by Bogey. Yeah, Hartenstein on the catch. Couldn't even turn, and the guy was there. No challenge. Knicks will maintain possession. They're going to double Bogdanovich. And it'll knock his pass out of bounds. Knicks will throw it in from midcourt with about eight seconds left on the shot clock. See, Bogey, get doubled like that. Give it up quick. He's trying to carry it out. McBride, Bogey, OG, Hartenstein, and Dante on the floor. DiVincenzo throws it into Bogey. Bogey, fake handoff. He'll go one-on-one -on -one versus Middleton. Takes him into the post. Fall away. Baseline, Jay. In and out, though. It'll be rebounded by Ihart. Swings it to Deuce. Deuce. Drives, kicks, Ananobi to Dante. He'll drive and kick. Ananobi now from the baseline loses it. Way too much passing yep. for the Knicks right now. Deuce drops the pass. See, right there, probably five times the Knicks were put in an advantageous situation. Nobody took advantage of it. You pass, you caught a pass, you drove off the closeout, you're in an advantage. Do something with it. Take a shot. Can't just be drive, kick, drive, kick, drive, kick, drive, kick, drive, kick. As Giannis drives. Foul How and one. I just don't get it. Like, he's already making all of these. It's clearly not. As, How is that a foul? I mean, he just runs them over. How is that a foul? How are you supposed to defend the honest if that is a foul? I mean, he's already beating him. Like, he already has the free layup. I don't get. How is that a foul? How is that a foul? Starting to dominate this game. Ooh, that's a seven of nine. As the Knicks are down by 10 in the first half again, that'll be the fifth game in a row. I think they've been down double digits in the first half. As Brunson throws it to Hartenstein, Hartenstein out to Bogey. Bogey drives, kicks, Chenzo three, good. Big time shot at a big time moment for the Knicks right there. Middleton puts it on the deck, pull up, blocked by Ananobi. But the Knicks are slow to the loose ball, and it's going to be an open Beasley corner three, good. Yep. That at one of the highest clips in the league this year. As 
I still understand. As the Knicks find themselves down by 10 with 6.30 to go in the half. Andre Jackson. As Brunson is back in the game, he'll have it up top. Guarded by Portis. Had it. Gotta shoot that, dog. Now get it back. Nine on the shot clock. Just him versus Portis. Here comes a double with Giannis. He swings it to Bogey. Bogey, nice cross court pass to Dante. He'll drive, lay up, up, smoked it. Rebound by Hartenstein. He's inside. He's fouled. And one, Isaiah Hartenstein. Strong finish. Great touch. Falling away and getting fouled. Uh oh, Middleton. As Middleton is on the ground, hurt. Is that blood? Oh, he is leaking. Middleton, his nose is bleeding. It looked like Dante got him when he came down. Yeah, an inadverted come down from the hand after the layup. That's tough. Hope he's all right. I hope he's all right. <laughs> We are at TV timeout. I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. This is the lineup we rolled with today. Check it out, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. You got the final four, or really the national championship tomorrow in college basketball. If you want to you play prize picks for that, they'll have some fun deals for you. Um, check them out. Who do you got in the natty tomorrow, by the way? Uh, UConn. Yeah, you're the UConn. I'm shocked the spread is six and a half, though, for that game. I think that's a little steep. As Franz Wagner has suffered a sprained ankle, and he's out. Bulls are down 17 to the Magic. Philly is playing in San Antonio without Embiid. So go Spurs, go Wemby. I hope that this isn't being reviewed or anything. All he did was go up for a layup. What are you supposed to do? Run around like this after you go up for a layup? I hope. Are we looking at this? No way. What is he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do? He went for a scoop layup, and on the way down, he just brought his hand down, and it hit a man's face. Like, okay, there we go. We're good. So they, so they were looking at it. Nick's down by eight. Hartenstein's going to go to the line to try to convert the three-point play to cut it to seven. Just over six minutes to go. Giannis is at a great first half. Nick's got to do something on him in the second. Hartenstein gets a free throw to go. Lead is now seven. Lillard will bring it up. Dante guarding him. Gets a screen. Nice double by the Knicks. Inside pass to Jackson. Jackson dropped it. That's going to be a turnover. Knicks ball going the other way. Six minutes to go here. Bro, that ref fucking sucks. Yeah. 
as Andre Jack, the, the Bucks are playing full court press right here. And then he backs up. Andre Jackson going to be guarding Brunson here. The rookie guarding the vet. I'd clear it out and go to work. Brunson to bogey, bogey, rip through, drive, sidestep, midi. No good. Good move, good clean look, just couldn't get it to go. Lillard walks it up for Milwaukee. He'll use the Lopez screen. Good help by Hartenstein. Just move your feet. He's slow. Yeah, was Lillard, sidestep three, force him into that. Shot no good. And it's going to be tapped out of bounds by Milwaukee. I'm cool with that. Dude, I feel like he doesn't have the same quick, you know, yeah. put it between his legs and burst right off. I feel like he doesn't have that anymore. Brunson, drive, blows by Lopez, lays it up and in off the glass. Five-point game. Speaking about a dude with burst. Yeah, Lillard doesn't have that cat-like quickness anymore. If a big switched on to him, I'm cool with that. Use your length and force him into that tough sidestep fall away three. Here comes a Portis post up. He'll swing it around. Great recovery defense by the Knicks as Connaughton drives through the baseline, and they're going to call a foul on Bogey. <laughs> I was actually going to say a good D right there. For me. I didn't think that was a foul, but it's been a tight whistle for the Bucks today. You look at him, it's a foul. Josh Hart's in pain. Dude, don't play. Like, I... Come on. Josh Hart is holding his wrist. He is in a lot of pain. Now he's holding his left hand. Honestly, I'd just say Josh. Is that Wemby dunk? Wemby? Yeah, did you no. see the Wemby dunk? No. Left hand like this. Going for the scoop and then just says fuck it and dunks it. <laughs> As Mitchell Robinson will come into the game with five minutes to go in the half. Robinson comes in for Hartenstein. As Connaughton knocks in both free throws, it's a seven-point game. Brunson, Hart, Robinson. Bogey and Dante. Brunson into the lane, stops, foul line, jumper, good! If they're going to play that drop, drop coverage, please do it. Brunson's going to eat that up. He's already got 21 on 16 shots. They're going to post up Portis on bogey here. Face him up. Rip through. Gets to the lane. Hook shot up and in. That was way too easy for him. Here comes a double. Brunson blows right by it. Gets into the lane again. He's bumped off his course. Finds an open. Dante for three. No good. Robinson battling for the board. And they're going to call a foul on Robinson. As Giannis is checked back in with 4.15 to go, Portis will sit down. Lillard will cross half court with just over four minutes to go in the half. Here gets a screen from Giannis. Lillard controlling, Dante on him, doing a good job staying in front of him. Good switch by Hart, gets it to Connaughton. Connaughton's going to drive into the lane, kicks it out. Lopez, good close out by Brunson, forced him to put it on the ground, and then he flopped and got a call. <laughs> For the biggest team in the league, holy shit, they flop a lot. They just fall. Like, they fall all the time. I mean... watching the Bucks play basketball. Bogey will sit down. I thought he gave you a good good little uh, set right there. There's Jackson to Lopez for three. No good. Rebound by Hart. Hart's going to push it. He'll go. He'll swing. Brunson in the corner. Guarded by Lillard. Clear it out. He can't guard him. He'll face him up and now walk him down into the post. Now he's doubled. Brings it back out, gets to Ananobi. Hart now has it in the short corner. He's in the lane, guarded by Connaughton. He'll take that push shot. No good. Hart can't score. It's really hurting the Knicks. Now Giannis in transition. Blocked by Ananobi! And they're going to call a foul on Brunson prior to that. <laughs> foul on the Knicks. 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 Still. Yeah. 
if Hart can't score, you can't play him with Robinson. As Giannis gets the first one, did he make it? As Giannis at the line, taking a sweet time, second free throw, air ball. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie. Air ball. Air ball. Ball don't lie. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Knicks down by eight. Brunson will bring it up. Milwaukee has shot 15 free throws. The Knicks have shot eight. Brunson into the lane. Floater up. In. Brunson is dialed in here as he's on his way to a 30-point first half. Willard off the screen. Gets into the lane. Pass stolen by Ananobi. He finds Hart. Knicks have numbers. Hart to Dante. Dante for three. No good. Hart battling for the board. Giannis gets it and he flops and he turns it over because he flopped. Hart and Star or Dante to Brunson. Brunson inside to Hart. Hart lays it up and in. If if Giannis doesn't flop, it's not a turnover. He tried to sell the call and go. Ah! Tell you what, Hart for necessarily not having a right hand. I think he's, I mean he is battling, man. Giannis guarded by Ananobi. Crossover into the lane. He traveled. You can't skip step and then take. Thank you for calling it. You can't skip step and then take two more. That's a travel. That's Nick's ball going that way. Good heart. That's embarrassing for Giannis. If he doesn't flop and throw the ball like Trey Young and do some weird little, ah, it's not a turnover in a bucket for the Knicks. Four point game, 2.30 to go. Brunson, guarded by Connaughton, gets the Ananobi screen. He'll reject it, gets into the lane, kicks it out. Ananobi for three. No good. Robinson with the board. He bodies up Giannis. Oh, and he's fouled. He can't get it to go. Mitch makes Giannis look a little small. Oh, he's growing a beard out, too. <laughs> Mitch is looking better and better each, each quarter. As Chris Middleton had a tooth knocked out, and he will not return. The Bulls are only down seven now. Robinson, free throw, no good. Exactly, Jacob. It maybe if we're all just positive, he'll make his free throws, right? Just get a little more arc on there, Mitch Rob, huh? Come on, Mitch. We need one of these. If he was just a 5% better around the basket, he would be so good. As he gets a second one to go, love that. <sighs> Three-point game. How about you close this quarter here? Giannis swings it to Dame. Dame guarded by Ananobi. Watch the flop. Watch the flop. Now they'll go to Giannis. He'll face up on Hart. Get He's up, outside man. the top of the circle, and then he gets a retouch foul. He gets a touch foul. <sighs> Not a enjoyable product. So now Giannis puts the ball on the on the floor once. You're gonna watch him shoot two free throws for the next minute and a half. Like it's just not enjoyable to watch. Giannis, free throw, no good. Ball don't lie. Tom, I agree. Just let them play. Whistle here, whistle there. Giannis missed the first. 
Giannis, second free throw. No good. Ball don't lie, but the Knicks can't secure the board. Unacceptable. You can't, you can't have somebody miss two free throws and not get the rebound. Now Lillard has it up top. He loses it, and he flops. He's on the deck. Robinson will tie it up with him. That's a oh, foul. that's a foul. That's a jump ball. Are you kidding me? Bro, Lillard throws his head up after every single possession. Anytime someone, watch it, throws his head up right there. Now he does it again. He's on the floor, throws his head up right there. Right there, gets touched, throws his head up again. Like, it's a joke. How is that not a jump ball? Play the damn game, man. God, the Bucks are one of the most unwatchable teams I have seen. They are worse than when it was Harden and Embiid. I mean, Dame can't beat shit off the dribble anymore, and he's got to look for a foul every single time. When there is a loose ball, as Lillard makes the first, that means it is a loose ball. That means nobody has possession. I have the right to the ball just as much as Patrick Seaman has the right to the ball. Lillard dives to the ground. Robinson dives to the ground. They are tied up. How is it a foul? Lillard's about to shoot his 10th free throw of the first half. I don't think he's gotten to the rim once. And he shot his 10th free throw. It's a terrible product. NBA should be embarrassed. Both free throws good. Dante out to Brunson. Brunson guarded by Dame. Three. No good. Rebound by Milwaukee. I mean, holy shit. Are, are, they, are they cleaning up the tip milk that Look comes out of their that, mouth? Dude, like, and then another foul. Mitchell Robinson and Brooke Lopez are just bad on. Dude. Dame has two made field goals, and he's got 14 damn points. There you go. All right. Possession down, possession down. Foul. It's just NBA. Like, I mean, I get you want more points. I get you want dudes average 30 plus. But it's killing your viewership. And that's why it's down every single year. Lopez free throws good. Knicks down by seven. The Bucks have have gotten to the line four straight possessions. Man, I, I don't get it. They have shot it. 21 free throws in the first half. It's embarrassing. Brunson to Dante. He's in the corner. He'll drive by Connaughton. Wow. Reverse lay. Nice pass to Hardenstein. Hardenstein wow. fouled. They don't wow. call it. They don't call it's it. It's the same thing. Like, Devo got hip checked right there. Nothing. They're going to post up Giannis. He'll throw it out to Lopez. Hartenstein, pump. Lopez floater, good. Nick's down by nine. It's really hard to beat the Bucs. It's really hard to beat the Bucs and the refs. It was I just mean, a three-point game, and then it was a fucking ref show. We're a fucking week away from the NBA playoffs, and this is the product NBA's putting out there. It's a joke. Dante up top. Going to play a little two-man game with Hartenstein. He'll get it to him now. Brunt Hartenstein, dumbass fucking pass. And then Dame hits the ground again. And now it's a fast break with Giannis. Giannis tries, poked away by Ananobi. Is there a foul? No? No foul? Okay. Okay, good. I didn't know if you could play defense and not get a foul. Dame hits the floor more than any point guard I've seen. I mean, it was just a three-point game. And then the ref said, nope, Bucks turn. It's the Bucks turn to make free throws. Dude, that was a minute of game time ago. It was a three-point game. The Bucs haven't made a shot. We were traveling on the inbound, too. Is Giannis blocked by Ananobi. He flopped. He didn't get the call this time. And now the Knicks are out running in transition. Dante in the corner. He's doubled. And he turned Devo, it over. He's had on, Dante DiVincenzo has been terrible today. Terrible. Come on. How do you have a three-on-two fast break and it ends up with no shot at the rim? Any any Dame screen right now, just just switch it. Don't overcommit. Just switch it. Lillard off the screen, kicks it to AJ Green. He'll drive. Fall away. Midi. Good. See, now you get in rotation. I'm like, let Dame beat a dude one on one. Points. He has not done that this whole game. One of the most overrated players in the league. What a joke of a way then that happened. Stop switching that. Just or start switching it. 
Dame can't beat nobody off the dribble anymore. Stop treating him like he's the same dude that he was in Portland. Alchemist, I'll join you. That's why viewership's down in the NBA every single year. And I'm not trying to make it, you know, bigger than it actually is, but you just have these games. It's just not basketball. We haven't watched a basketball up and down pace for the last quarter and a half of this game. Possession here, possession here. Oh, foul. Somebody's at the line. Slow it down. Giannis or Dame take a minute and a half to shoot a free throw. It's a bad product. Knicks have been called for 15 fouls while the Bucks have been called for 9. The Knicks have shot 10 free throws while the Bucks have shot 21. I cannot wait to show Dame's box score right now. Hold on, give me a sec, folks. They're trying to save Dame's career. He is just not it anymore. Pull this up, guys. I mean, the dude's got 14, 3, and 3, and he's made two shots. It's not the same. Like, this is, we are a week away from the NBA playoffs. And I'm, I feel like I'm watching a November basketball game. I just don't get it. I'm like, is this, is this what the NBA wants? Free throw, free throw, free throw, free throw, free throw. Giannis is also starting to dominate this game. Um. He got a couple and ones that I didn't think were fouls, but he was still making the damn basket. No problem with Giannis, but. <sighs> Ten first half free throws for Damian Lillard is a joke. Have you seen him take it to the rim once? Today? He sucks. Like, Marsh, I swear to God, watch his head. Every single time he's coming off a screen, it's here. He throws it up every single time. If I'm the Knicks, I am switching every single screen. Go one on one, Dame. It's fine with me. It's just, it's, it's just bad. It's just bad. It's a bad product. It's a bad product. It's just a bad. It's, it's bad for the NBA. Thirty-one it, free throws total in that first half. Ain't nobody's trying to watch that, man. These dudes play. There's a reason why the NFL will always be king. Yep. There's a reason for that. There's a reason that more people will watch the NBA draft and the NBA playoffs. Um, uh, I mean, also, keep it, you know, bitch about the refs, and I think they've been terrible. The Knicks also have been just playing a bad game. Besides Jalen Brunson, I mean, and Mitchell Robinson, I think in a spurt here or there, nobody's played well. Um, Josh Hart's playing his ass off. I think he's bringing energy and everything, but clearly he can't shoot even a push shot right now. Um, so I don't get that. OG, I mean, he's missed his open shots. He's still been an absolute game record defensively. Two blocks and a steal. DiVincenzo, I mean, besides knocking down two wide open threes, he's he's been pretty bad. Yeah. But he's he, also been really good as of late, so I'm not really listening to it too much, but I mean shit, man. I'm telling Jalen Brunson, if they're giving Dame those calls, you go throw your head up every single time you get in the lane and we should be shooting. The fact that Dame has shot five more free throws than Brunson. This, this half is insane. Like, if that's the way you're calling the game. It's a joke. It's a joke. 
everybody at home. We're going to take a shot every single time. Damian Lord is coming off the pick and roll. He gives, gives one of those. Let's start a new trend here. Let's do the Damian Lillard. That's the new Damian Lillard. Every time he gets touched in an NBA game, it's, oh, he's on the ground. Do the Dame, the new flopping king in the NBA. That's what he is. He's the new no, flopping king in the NBA. The dude shot 10 free throws without taking it to the rim one time. Little Ralphie, I agree. The Bucks are one of the most boring. And I think Giannis is one of the freakiest things we have seen in NBA history. They are so annoying to watch play the game. It is not basketball. It is looking for fouls. See, ER, I don't even want to give Dame the credit of James Harden and Trey Young because, like, like James Harden, when he was getting all those fouls back in Houston and even in Philly for a little bit, like, he was still beating dudes off the dribble pretty consistently. Same with Trey Young. I mean, every single time I've watched Dame this year, it is the same story with him. It's ridiculous. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Damian Lillard shoots seven free throws a game. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened to the game I loved? What happened to the game I loved? <laughs> it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing for this league. Um, just crazy. It's just crazy. What up, OG? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm with you, Sparks. I'm with you, man. Yeah, I mean, look, it was a three-point game, and then foul, foul, foul. Foul, foul, foul. How many possessions did not have a whistle? The Bucks shot 38 shots in the first half. The Bucks shot 38 shots. 38 shots in a half of basketball. 19 shots in a, in a quarter. That is embarrassing for the NBA. Thirty-eight shots for a team at halftime. That's gotta be a, a league record. And 14 of them were threes. Nick shot 51. Yep. It's just bad. It's, it, it is. It's just bad. It's just bad for the league. What's up, Niall? We appreciate you, man. Thanks for showing love. Thanks for showing love. And I don't even like... 
yes, Milwaukee being the flop king of the NBA. I don't even like throwing Giannis into this. But, like, I'll tell you what. Giannis does not need to get these, like, tic-tac foul calls. Like, he's already going to get the ones where, like, you just need the foul him because he's putting so much pressure on the rim and he's just so overwhelming. But, like, I mean, the ones where he runs over OG and they just give him the call. That happened twice. Like, I, I just – I just don't get it. Because, yes, the Magic did beat the Bulls. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It... it... 21 first half free throws, 10 of them from Damian Lillard, a guard that doesn't even get to the paint. He can't get to the paint. He is slow. Yeah, he looks bad. The NBA is just trying to make this work, man. It's not. So he averages seven free throws a game. Yep. That's a fucking joke. How many? How many does Brunson average? Six. Six. I hate using the foul or the ref shit when it comes to JB. Just, but I mean, dude, I mean JB just plays so much more physical than him. I mean that's embarrassing. Serious guys, if you if you guys are drinking at home, take a sip, take a shot, finish your beer. Every time in the second half, Dame's coming off a screen. He's gonna have it here. Gives you one of those. Oh, he's gonna throw his head up in there. the worst thing the NBA did. Just so freaking just whistle happy. Oh, man. No, I, I also agree with that, Vasquez. I mean, the Knicks also haven't been playing well. Again. I don't know. I, I don't really – I just don't understand, like, that this is where we're at. Like, this is where we're at on, on, on NBA refing. I do not watch WWE because I don't want to see any I – don't, I don't watch rigged stuff, and I, I feel like I'm doing it with the Knicks. So, <laughs> no, I don't watch WWE. Looking up just viewership, like it's going down every year. No one wants to watch foul after foul after foul after foul. No one wants to watch that. Dudes are too good nowadays. Like when it, did we even have like a five minute like stretch of no. hoops? It's also one of those things where it's like, yes, it's annoying Dame, flops his head every time. But if he knows they're going to call it, I don't necessarily blame him for this. Like, this is on the NBA. This isn't, like, on the players. But, hey, NBA, NBA wants more guys scoring 30-plus because it's better to market that, and they think that's going to – they they think they're going to trick the viewership. Be like, oh, we got all these dudes in the league averaging 30-plus. More free throws than ever. Yeah, I don't think Adam Silver's done that good of a job since being the commissioner. To be honest with you, I, I it's don't. been a lot of like short term. You know what I mean? With Silver, I feel like all of his moves are like, oh, this is gonna be cool for the first couple of years, but as it goes on and on, like people just kind of see through the bullshit. All righty, Knicks down by eleven.
Going to have to have a great second half if they want to pull out a win and not lose four out of five. Eight zero run to close the half. I don't think they made a single shot. I think it was just that one Lopez push, and that's it. Second half underway. Reminder, Chris Middleton is out as he was hit in the face and lost a tooth. Hartenstein and Dante, a little two-man game. Dante, drive, out to Hartenstein. Hartenstein fouled! Call it! Gets the bucket to go. I mean, see, that's the most violent play we've seen this, this game, and there was no foul. Yep. Dame, though. But Dame drives, kicks to Giannis, Giannis to Lopez, Lopez back to Giannis. Giannis going to get a screen, guarded by Ananobi, gets in the lane, kicks Connaughton for three. No good, rebound by Hart. Josh will bring it up. At the top of the key, gets it to OG. OG going to get a screen, guarded by the smaller Lillard. He's going to attack, spin move. Dame flops and hits the ground. Yeah. Ananobi drops Lillard, he flops. Boom. Get your ass up, Dame. Uh. There it is. That's one time. Uh, That's one shot. Uh, uh. That's Dame. Every time. Every possession. His neck's got to be sore when he wakes up every day. Seriously. Giannis just double dribbled. They didn't call it. Watch this. Dame guarded by Dante. He's going to throw it inside to Giannis. Giannis step back. 14 footer. No good. That's a terrible shot. He can't do that. Rebound by Hart. Hart's pushing. Gets into the lane. Out to Ananobi for three. Too strong. Ananobi can't get it to go. Dude, just the Bucks. Giannis will bring it up the other end. He gets it to Lillard. Lillard used the screen for three. No good. Yep. Ah! He flopped. He wasn't touched. He missed the shot. Brunson will bring it up. In and out dribble. Blows by Lillard. He's fouled. And one. Jalen Brunson. Yep. Ah! Go get a bucket, Dame. Ah! Can't flop on that, Lillard. And the foul. Shout out to Isaac. Shout out to my man Isaac Smith says high fives all. Marshall, you guys rock. Isaac, you rock. Thank you for showing us love. Thank you for tuning in. And then my man, OG. 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 They don't. I'm been convinced that the Dolan family has a debt to the mob, and they won't win it till it's paid. As Brunson missed the free throw, it's going to go out of bounds off the Knicks. And they won't win until it's paid. It's the only reason I can think of. Honestly. It's incredible, it's OG. It's not a bad conspiracy. It's incredible. I hate being the ref guy. I get on you guys about being the ref guys. I can't, I can't, I can't lie anymore. It is awful. Lopez up top, backdoor pass to Giannis. And there's another foul. <laughs> like, let him put a hands on it. Like, we are two minutes into the half. There's only been three, three whistles. Five-point game. Knicks came out hot in this third quarter. Dame up top, hands it off to Beasley. Beasley for three. Good. Can't let him get that open. Back to an eight-point game, under 10 minutes to go. Brunson up top, gets it to Hart. Now Brunson will go through some off-ball screens. Hart will find Hartenstein on that right wing, and now hand it off to Brunson. Brunson gets the screen, has some space, eats up the drop coverage. He's fouled. They don't call it. Dame would have got that foul, though. Now Giannis is out and running, gets into the lane. He'll flop and get the call. <laughs> Yo, possession, possession foul, possession foul, possession foul. I mean, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I really don't want to play them in the playoffs because it's just not fun. No. It's not fun. Giannis at the line, first one good. Yeah, exactly. It, it isn't enjoyable. We're here to be entertained, not watch refs blow a whistle. And it just leads players to look for fouls. Like... Giannis makes both free throws. Knicks down back by 10. As Dante will bring it up, he'll find now Brunson guarded by Beasley. He'll give it back to Dante. Swings it to Hart. Now back to Brunson. 
Brunson now guarded by Connaughton. Here comes the screen from Hartenstein. He'll use it. Nice pocket pass. Hartenstein out to Dante. Dante runs off the three-point line, drives and kicks to Ananobi. Five seconds on the shot clock. Ananobi bullies his way inside. Lillard flops, kicks. Dante, three. Good. God, he's such a pussy. Seven-point game. Every time he gets touched, he throws his neck back. Put a seatbelt on. Willard up oh, top, guarded by Dante. They're going to post up Giannis just inside the three-point line. Ananobi guarding him. He'll drive to the left. Now he stops. Hands off to Willard. Oh, Willard looking to flop again in a travel. Yep, yep. <laughs> he flopped yep. into a travel. <laughs> Damian Willard just flopped <laughs> into a travel. He is the most cooked product in the NBA that nobody is talking about. Be the dude off the dribble once this game, Dame. He flopped into a oh travel. I've never seen God. that. Brunson guarded by Dame. Clear out. Clear out at the foul line. Takes yep. him into the post. Willard knocks it away. It'll go out of bounds. The Knicks have nine to shoot. A lucky hand. Look at him shake that. Don't get him again, Brunson. Ice him again. Make him guard. Brunson would beat Dame 21 to 1 if they played a one on one right now. Brunson throws it into Will, uh, Dante. Dante back to Brunson. Brunson drives to Hartenstein. Hartenstein floater up oh. and in. Strong move by 55, and it's a five-point game. Run that 10 straight possession. Dame can't stay in yep. that all game. Lillard drives, kicks. Giannis three. Attack the glass. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Strong rebound. Thank you for shooting that, Giannis. DiVincenzo will bring it up on the right wing. Gets it to Brunson. Brunson for three. Let's go, Jalen Brunson. Brunson knocks in the triple. It's a two-point game. Hi, Doc Rivers. Yep. Um, is the NBA refs on the phone? Can you help us come back in this one? Yep. Can you help us start calling fouls on the Knicks that aren't there? Because we can't beat them if we don't get free throws every time down. Brunson's got more shots made combined. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, fellas, it's, it is a bad product out there in Milwaukee. I mean, I know Dame, like, I haven't watched a ton of Bucks games this year. I'd probably watch about seven to ten Bucks games, and, like, I, I, I thought he's looked cooked. But, man, the last couple of times I've watched Dame, he is a uh, – this dude can't – he's slow. Chiefs, they were up ten, then they were up five. They yep. got back to 10, now it's 2. When they don't call fouls, they can't score. They can't. <laughs> like, if you just you limit the Bucks in transition right now, don't allow Giannis to get any easy of the layups because Giannis is the best easy bucket getter in the league where you just, like, if you miss a lane or whatever, like, Giannis, he just runs and dunks it. Like, it's pretty simple. I'm serious. I'm a – Marsh, I might do this. I might put Brunson on Dame. And just let them play one on one. I would. Like, just say, go try to beat Brunson one on one. I don't think he can. This Bucks team, I might. Them, I am having them lose round one of the playoffs. I am so out on this group. I cannot believe he flopped his way into a travel. <laughs> He's such a baby now. <laughs> man, I'll never go join up with a super team, man. I'm staying here. Is he the fakest NBA player of all time? He is. Talked shit about KD and then demanded yep. a trade to go play with Giannis. And now to no. stay relevant, you flop. No, he was. He demanded to Miami. And then he was mad that he didn't get what he wanted when he was still sent to freaking Milwaukee. I don't want to go to a super team. Send me to the team that just won the Eastern Conference. Yeah, all star, all star, star. Yep. all star yeah. game MVP. Yeah. Oh, oh man, <laughs> Dame Lillard. I think I might actually have my least favorite player in the league. I think it's Dame. <laughs> I'm serious. And at one point, I think there was count. an argument that he might have been one of my favorite players. Me too. I think I, you know what, Dame? He's putting a great foundation of makeup all over his career in Portland because nobody really watches him that much, and now he's kind of at the tail half. This dude. 42% from the field as an all-star. That's some R.J. Barrett shit. We got 841 people watching. Can y'all go flop on that like button for me? Can y'all go flop on that like button for me? Because we only got 242 likes. I mean... Everyone just flop on the like button. Come on. Deuce or Dame, you decide. Here we go. Back to hoops. 
Connaughton's going to drive and kick to Lopez. Lopez now going to get it to Dame. Dante on him. He'll use the screen. Knicks double it off it. He'll throw it inside to Lopez. Lopez looking for a flop. He doesn't get the call. And then he does. <laughs> then he does. A late whistle on a flop. A late NBA. whistle on a flop. We are four minutes into this quarter. I have never seen this many flops in an NBA game. I feel like I'm watching European soccer. I'm watching European soccer right a now. A week away from the playoffs. A week away, and this is and this is what we want. This is what this is what they want their product to be. This is unwatchable. Lopez, no. free throw, no good. Ball don't lie. Give me some BDLs in the chat. At least the gods are looking out for us. Flop on that sub button and flop on that like button for me. You can add a little Damian Lillard zestiness in there if you want to, too. He does it just like this. Ah. God damn. <laughs> that dude is soft as shit. Lopez makes the second. Three-point game. Seven and a half left to go in the third. Lillard will bring it up. Uh, Brunson will bring it up. Guarded by Beasley. Take his ass one-on-one. -on -one. Gets him into the lane. Post up. Drives through the baseline. Finds Hartenstein from the push shot. Good! One-point game! Keep running that two-man game. Cook it. It's weird. The Bucks have only shot five shots this quarter. Dame flops again Look from at three. Him, dude. <laughs> he can't help me. He literally can't shoot without flopping. Like every shot. As Brunson maneuvering his way into the paint, he'll pull it back out and go one on one versus Connaughton. Now get a screen. He's got Dame on him. Throws it to Dante. Dante drives on Beasley, and then he flops oh, and get a foul. There we go. I think if it's we changing. flop, we might get fouls. No, I don't blame the Knicks. Keep flopping. They're calling it. This is the product the NBA wants, so we'll take advantage. Dude, Dame, I actually think he's, like, addicted to it. Like, I actually think, like, he had a wide-open look right there, and he still went for the flop. This dude's sick. This dude's addicted to flopping. Hey, I got that flop pack for you, Dame. Hit me. Hit my line. I'll sell you that shit. I'll sell you that shit. I can't, I, I can't believe this is what he's turned into. Dude, that was an open three and he flopped. Dude, Dante was five feet behind him and he flopped. Knicks up by one. Zero main shot for the Bucks in three minutes. I wonder oh, why. But they still probably got ten points. This oh, my gosh. Dame to Connaughton. Connaughton up top, guarded by Brunson. He'll use a couple of screens, gets into the lane. Now he swings it out to Lopez. Lopez going to drive on Hartenstein. You got to be... Oh, and it's a oh, travel! Right. Next ball going that way! Dude, they have no offense. Like, they, like they don't They don't have an offense. offense. If they don't get a flop or a foul call, they can't score. They run pick and roll See, after pick I don't, and roll. I think I misread that graphic. I'll, I'll update in a second. Brunson up top, guarded by Dame, gets the screen, puts pressure on the rim, fall away, shot no good, rebound by Giannis. They haven't attempted a shot in three plus minutes. It wasn't made field goals, it was just field goals. They haven't got a shot on the rim in three minutes because they're on, just... Dame, take a one-on-one, -on -one. clear out. Don't, don't get a screen. Dame has to give it up. Giannis is going to drive. Spins into the lane. Steps yep. through. Travel stolen. Knicks have numbers. It's Hart. It's Dante. It's Hartenstein. Who and throws it down? Knicks up by three. Grit and grind. Josh Hart getting out and running. Eight rebounds, seven assists with one hand for Josh Hart. Look at Dame. Dame's got Hartenstein on him. Oh, give it up. I don't need it. Great D by OG. Great hand. OG two steals, two blocks on the game. Looking good. Refs got off their knees, and now the Knicks are up by three. <laughs> Ain't it funny how that works? The refs got off their knees, and now the Knicks are up by three. This is a joke. <laughs> crazy, crazy. While we are at a TV timeout, I got to tell you guys about a proud sponsor, Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS and prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. That was the lineup that I'm rolling with tonight. Check it out. Support the show. Support the sponsor. I would appreciate it. Prize picks, we are lucky to have them and we want to keep them. It's a great opportunity for our channel, but we need you guys to support them. So I kindly ask to just sign up, use the promo code CLNS, put five bucks in your account. That would really do a lot for me and Seeps here. Uh, as we're trying to keep prize picks as a sponsor. Um, sponsors aren't going to want to come around if we can't get you guys to, to play them. 
And Seeps, uh, this is a perfect sponsor for Knicks Now fans. Oh my NBA, God. NFL around the corner. Literally, just create an account, put five bucks in, and they'll give you a free five bucks. Even if the Bucks are going to make this game pretty much unwatchable, hey, having a prize picks lineup adds a little extra juice to it. So, Shout out to you guys. And I'll be taking the more on Giannis and Dame free throw attempts at, uh, moving forward here because this is this is awful. I didn't think it was this bad. Dude, it, is, it is. It is. They have a disease. Where? It is spreading. It's going to continuously spread if the NBA doesn't stop this. Point guards I take over Dame. He's not even top 15. He's not. He's not top 15. Let's just go down the East. Let me, let me, let me just look at the East. I take Derek White, Andrew Holiday, both over Dame. Yep. Um, Brunson, Donovan Mitchell, and Garland. I'm yep. taking both those. That's five. Halliburton, still playing, taking Dame over his ear. Maxi, seven. Kobe White? Maybe. We'll say no for now. Trey Young, I'm taking over Dame. I'm dead ass. I'm taking Cade Cunningham over him. <laughs> no, right now I would too. I'm, I'm taking, serious. I'm taking LaMelo over him. That's 10. <laughs> yes. Now let's move to the West where, you know, there's real players out there. Jamal Murray, 100%. Anthony Edwards, 100%. That's 12. SGA, 13. James Harden, I'm still probably taking Harden over him right now. Luka and Kyrie, 15. 16. Or 16. Booker, 17. D'Angelo Russell? It's close. I, I might take De'Aaron Fox, Curry. Oh, Fox for sure. Curry, yes. Ja, when he's healthy? Ja, yes. He's not a top 20 point guard anymore. As Giannis drives, layup, good. He also hit Brunson in the face. I think that's a Bucks first field goal in about an hour and a half. As the Knicks will bring it up, up by one. Five and a half minutes to go in the third. Hartenstein, top of the key, hands it off to Brunson. Brunson's double, nice pocket pass to Hartenstein. He'll get right to that dotted line and throw the push shot up. Seeps, that he's he, got to move. He he literally shoots that at ninety seven percent. It's incredible how good he is at that little push shot, and man. It's, it's, it's got so much arc on it. It like, does. It doesn't make sense how he hits it so. They're gonna go right into the post. Giannis and an Obi fall away. Right. No good. Great defense by OG. He's starting to settle in. Brunson brings it up. Crossover, guarded by Jay Crowder. Clear Get on. his old ass on skates. He blows right by him. Off oh. the glass, up and in. This ain't Marquette 2008, Jay Crowder. <laughs> Nick's up five. Brunson's got 30. This Bucks team stinks, dude. Lillard drives. Can't get to the lane. Has to give it up. He'll find Giannis. Giannis now to Crowder. Crowder guarded by Hart. He'll drive. Baseline layup, no good. Push shot, up and in by... Portis, Nick's got to box out. Nick's got to box out. Three-point game. We need to get Bobby Portis in here. Hart throws it to Hartenstein. He'll spin. He's going to take Portis to the lane. He lost it. Got it back. Now to Ananobi. Ananobi drives baseline. Jump stop. Lays it up, and he missed it. Tapped it up. And it's recovered by Milwaukee. you got to make that layup, OG. Lillard, swing, Beasley, three, no good. Ball on the ground. Giannis with the rebound, and he lays it up and in. And Dante yelling at the ref, and it's going to be a timeout for the Knicks. Timeout for the Knicks. One-point game, four minutes to go. God damn, still only has two made shots. Oh, she has got to make that. Oh, yeah, OG, 100%. Bucks are way more beatable than Boston. Honestly, the Bucks, in my opinion, are the fifth scariest team. I would rather play them compared to, like, the Sixers, the Heat, the Celtics. I mean, maybe even Cleveland. Like, Yeah, OG's got to make that Sparks. Still a little bit off. Um, look, he, he's played in three games of the last 30 for the Knicks. It's going to take him some time to get back on track and get back in the groove and knock the rust off. But see, the defense is, is still there, and it's oh only going to continue to get better and better. I think he's got five stocks already today. I mean, well, he's got him at four, but I mean, he's, I mean, he's doing a good job on Giannis. You know, Giannis is going to get his. Yeah. So crazy. He's got 24 and 10 off just like this 
getting like the easy one. Still making them work. Nick's up by one, four minutes to go. It'll be New York's ball as we come out of this timeout. Fitzgerald, what up, man? Bebaoli says the Bucks are really good. I no, can't I don't I don't agree with you, brother, and I told you that two weeks ago. They're a bad team. They're not good. Hart up top, guarded by Lillard. Blows right by him. Lillard's moving in sinking stand. David Chenzo three good. I mean, the Bucks are the most overrated team in the NBA. Oh, my God. It's not even close. Lillard to Giannis. Giannis back to Lillard. He'll give it up because he can't do anything. He'll swing it to Beasley. Beasley's going to be guarded by Brunson, and they'll go right into the post. Giannis versus OG. Giannis, hand off to Dame. Dame drives baseline. He'll kick it out. Portis, right wing three. Good. Bobby Portis is a really good player, man. I like Bobby Portis. He's just a great role. I would love to have him on the Knicks. Especially right now with this team. Yeah. Perfect. Brunson up top. Knicks will move it around. Zone. JB gets it back. Bucks have gone zone. Hart, top of the key. Guarded by Giannis. Blows by. Pump fake. Fouled! Giannis in the air off the fake from Hart. He'll go to the line for two. Love that move from Josh Hart. That was a, I got no bag today, but I'm still getting to the line. The the Bucks in their last thirty one games seeps. What do you think the record is? Fifteen and sixteen. Exactly. No, really. The Bucks are fifteen and sixteen <laughs> in their last thirty one games. Man, give me give me them round one. Hart knocks in the first free throw. Give me them in the four five. Hart second free throw. Good. Knicks back up by three. 15 and 16 in their last 31. Thank God That's damn near half the season. Lillard drives. Look he flopped. Look he flopped. That. Oh, and then oh a late call. God. What's the call? On who? He threw his head back. He did it again. This is incredible. NBA, this is the biggest joke. Watch this. Oh, there goes the head. Didn't even touch him. The most unwatchable basketball player in the NBA. Oh, let me just feel contact, throw my head back. Where's the go. <laughs> This is a joke. <laughs> oh, he is the best flopper of all time. Bro. Yeah, Tibbs, I challenge that. That was terrible. I can't watch Dame. He is, a, he is an industry star. He's an industry star. <laughs> Willard, free throws are good. It's a one-point game. The Bucks, I think the Bucks have made two shots this quarter. They're 22 of 27 from the fucking free throw line. 27 free throws. <laughs> We're not even. It's not the fourth quarter. Brunson on the right side, guarded by Dame. He asked for a clear out. Yeah. Lillard shaking. Brunson baking. Has him in the post. Okay. Kicks to Take an open ball. heart for three. Good! Josh Hart knocks it in. Knicks up by four. Put it on the table, Hart. Damian Lillard. Will he yep. flop? He'll drive into the lane. Layup good. Robinson That's, has to yep. guard him like this because he yep. doesn't want to look at him nope. or he'll be fouled. That's a joke, dude. Two-point game. Two minutes to go in the third. Dante has it up top. He'll. Oh, he wanted a deep three. They're going to double Brunson. Now they'll let Beasley guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Cook, J.B. Gets a screen from Ananobi. Now guarded by Giannis. He'll face him up. Gets into the lane. Blows by him. Scoop shot up. And in! Giannis can't guard him! <laughs> Nick's up four. Beasley in the corner. Guarded by Brunson. Kicks it to Portis. Portis three. Good. God damn it. Guard him! You gotta guard Bobby Portis. He's on fire. He's been the best player for the Bucks in the second half. He's got 16 points. One point game, 90 seconds left in the quarter. Hart drives, Great kicks, man. Brunson, triple. No good, he's fouled. Brunson's going it's to the line flagrant. for three free throws. How many it's times are we going to land in his landing spot and not be a flagrant? You got to review that, dude. How many times?
That's a flagrant. Look at him shove his foot up. That's there a flagrant. Too. That is the definition of a flagrant. You can't stick your leg out like that. They won't even review it. They won't even review it. Brunson at the line for three. First one is good. Nick's up two. Nick's up two. Brunson, second free throw. Good. How many does he have? Yeah. Brian Fitzgerald, what up, man? $2 super chat. I want 50 wins. Let's go, Knicks. One for the Irish mob DM. I saw Danny McGrath pregame. I haven't seen him since. Brunson's up to 34. Brunson's up to 34. He could have another 50 ball as Burks. Ananobi heads to the bench. Burks hurt. Hasn't played. Hasn't played. I like it, dude. Can you get another run from Bogey here? Brunson made the first two, and he makes all three after the foul. Four-point game. 120 to go in the third. Close the quarter. Hart guarding Lillard. Watch for the flop. Knicks show a double. Let's go. And they get back. Portis, left wing. Hands it off to Connaughton. Connaughton turns the corner, throws it to Portis. Portis in the corner. Good close out by Rob. Throws. This is a tough shot by Portis, man. He threw that one from 12 feet out off the glass. Brunson will bring it up. We're under 60 seconds to go. He's guarded by Connaughton. Here comes a screen from Hart. They're hunting that A.J. Green matchup. I love it. Brunson has him on skates. Ball on the right hand. Now to the left. Inside to Hart. Hart. Kick ball. Like, does Hart just, should Hart just throw that up to Robinson, you think? Yeah. It's going to be hands down low. I think that's what he just said to him, actually. Throw that puppy up. Brunson has 32 30-point games. That is the fourth most in a season for a Nick. He's one behind Bernard King, two behind Patrick Ewing. Brunson guarded by A.J. Green, sizing him up. Spin move into the lane. Float her up. Off the glass, no good. Robinson keeping it alive, but it's rebounded by Milwaukee. Brunson just off on the baby jumper. Lillard will bring it up. Deuce guarding him. Gets the screen. He's doubled now by the Knicks. Yep. He'll throw it to Green. Green out to... Oh, my gosh. Connaughton lamp. Ah! Robinson from the weak side. Met him at the highest point and said, get that shit out of here. Covers so much air. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock turned off. Brunson, one-on-one, -on -one, guarded oh, by wait. Connaughton. Here comes the screen. He'll use it. Now he's got Dame. He'll blow by him. Float her up. And in! Damian Lillard, you can't guard him. You can't guard him. Woo! That's how you play New York Knicks basketball. Brunson's got or 10 more made field goals than Dane. Come on. Get some fours in the chat. You got to start fast in the fourth. You got to start fast in the fourth. Give me some fours. We got 1,200 people watching. Drop a four for me. You came out slow in the last couple of first quarters. Come out, hit them in the mouth, and they'll quit. They are a soft basketball team. Doc Rivers, he'll throw anybody under the bus. He threw the freaking travel staff under the bus. They are mentally soft. They want to quit. Force them to roll over, and they'll do so. Come on. Let's freaking go, man. This is where you separate. He cannot guard him. Only if he could flop on defense and get a foul called. Davies! What's up, Davies? Cooked him. Cooked his old ass. Shot to tie man, the Buckeye. Desmond, Snipes Entertainment. 
Ernest Cash. What's up, Dave? Most 30-point games for a Nick guard in a season. Richie, how do you say his name? I'll, I've heard it multiple ways. I always say it wrong, I think. Dana says Marsh needs a happy dad. We, we unfortunately have bad news. We do not have any happy dads. We do have some Miller Lights out there. I don't really drink beer like that. I'll take a, I'll take over. I'll do a shot fun for for fifty. If we get, get down, I will. I don't drink beer. Sometimes hurts my stomach a little bit. I got a soft, little soft tummy. But I will. We'll do a beer shotgun race, the old classic way. Yeah. If we get a hundred dollar super chat, I'll do a beer shotgun with 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 the with with the Miller, Miller latte. How about that? Tell you what, Tibbs, I would have. I would play Brunson all 12 here. This is a big game. Fourth quarter underway. Giannis drives on Mitch, spins in the lane. Robinson with great defense, forced the miss, but Giannis climbs on his back and tips it up and in. So the five to start for the Knicks is McBride, Hart, Dante, Robinson, and Bogey. Bogey, you got to cook. Come on. Yeah, we need, they need Bogey to get some points. Robinson has it, finds Hart at the foul line. Hart, hand off to Dante. Dante, pull up. 14-footer. No good. Look Tapped out by Robinson. Controlled by Hart. He swings it to Deuce for three. Good! Mitchell Robinson playing his ass off. He is. He's had a great second half, man. He's doing the little things. Getting his legs back under him. Nick's up five. Giannis picks his dribble up. Gives it to Connaughton. 10 on the shot clock. They're going to post Giannis. Giannis guarded by Hart. Puts it on the deck. Drives. Get, that, Get that weak shit out of here. Robinson sends that into the stands. Dominating the second half. And then, he, and then he asked for the call. Look at him ask for the call after. What call? Oh, why don't I get the call? Da, 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 da. Take it tough to the rack, dude. Soft ass Seven motherfucker. Seven foot. One of the most freak athletes we've seen. Giannis has five seconds to shoot. Drives. Lay a block again. Get that Can't shit out of here. Knicks have numbers. Giannis isn't playing defense. It's five on oh. four. And they don't go. Now they settle back into their half court oh set. D McBride. Drive. Into the lane. Lays yeah. it up over Giannis. Knicks up by seven. Let's go, Knicks. It's that OG Mitch Rob duo right now. That's how you start a fourth quarter. Portis, Mitty, no good. Come on, Bo. Crowder with the box. Now stolen by Deuce. He looked like a free safety. He'll get it to Bogey. Bogey in the corner. Slow it down. Clear get a good shot way. here. Get a good shot here. They're going to post up Ananobi on A.J. Green. I love it. Clear it out. You got the shot right here. Great cut, Gets dude. to a cutting. Deuce. Deuce fall away. Jay, no good. Robinson. I would have liked OG yeah. to just gone. And if they help, you swing that to Bogey. Is what it is. Giannis up top. Yeah, we're sitting on that. We're sitting Good on that. Good D by the Knicks. Connaughton off the screen at the elbow. Throws it to Portis. Portis back to him. Five to shoot. Good switch by the Knicks. Green for three. No good. Great Rebound team. by Bogey. Way to lock it in. Give it up, Bogey. Give it up, Bogey. We don't need you initiating. He'll get the screen. Can, can you get the ball out of your hands? He swings it to Dante. Dante Ooh, back to Bogey. He's guarded by Portis. He said, go to work. Bogey, yep. pull up. Bang! Knicks up 10. Let's go, Knicks. He was hunting that jump shot. Said, Devo, get it back. Right hand, has he pull up good. Look at OG banging right there. Mitch Rob on the block on the weak side. Hand up. Hand down. Boom. Man down. Bogey, dude. Woo! The brothers came to play in the second half. Love to see it. That's how you play New York Knicks basketball. I feel like they're getting their swagger back defensively, too. Like, that was, like this is like a... The start of the force defense hand. has been crazy. You got Mitch Deuce, you got Mitch Rob, you got OG, and you got Hart out there. I I love the way Hardenstein's been playing. That push shot, like he's 7 of 8. Hardenstein's 15 points, 9 rebounds right now. 
what Mitchell Robinson is doing in this game, especially in the second half, man, like, it is incredible. And I wish also, I knew how many free throw attempts the Bucks had in the second half. Well, we could find out because I documented how many they had in the first half. They had, they had 21 they free six. throws. So they have 27 right now. So six free throws in the second half, and they're down by 10. Oh, and what happens? Fourth quarter comes around. Refs aren't blowing the whistle as much. Yeah, this is a shit. Johnson, you, seconding our thoughts. Bucks without free throws are frauds. I agree. If you guys want this right now, Marsh and I, we have steered you in the right direction. Over the last couple of years, whoever the Bucks play, unless it's the Indiana Pacers, round one of the playoffs, I promise you they are losing. They will lose to the Magic, Knicks, Cavs, Heat, Sixers, Celtics, all of those teams. They will beat them. This is the most fraudulent basketball team in the NBA. Let's go get it. I don't know, Josh. They're going to be regretting that. Dude, Dame is, I mean, he's just a bad player now. Can't beat anybody off the dribble. He can't guard anybody. I mean, he's three of eight. Can't, he can't get a shot. I don't know if I'm reading the stat sheet wrong here. So let me wipe my eyes. It's weird. The Bucks have only shot six free throws in the second half. How many points did they And have? they've been outscored by 21 in the second half by the Knicks. Oh. How does that make sense? Bucks shoot six free throws in a half, and they get outscored by 21 in that half. I mean, what, they got 26 in that? second half how does that happen oh that's right because the refs were the crutch helping the bucks they're 29 to 61 <laughs> i don't know Play is this right ball. is this right you've been outscored by 21 in the second half you had 21 free throws in the first half only six in the second weird it's not the three-point shooting you ever said that they're seven to 23 so very weird. I don't know if that's right. If it wasn't for Bobby Portis having an electric second half, this would be a blowout. Look at Dante. Quite Close good. it out, though. Nine minutes to go. OG yep. guarding yep. Dame. He has to give it up. He can't get to his shot. Caught it to three. Game. No good. Rebound by DiVincenzo. Dame What's saw OG game? and shed. I have P running down my leg. I have P running down my leg. Let's go. Deuce up top. Gets it to Bogey. Bogey back to Deuce. Back to Bogey for, oh, he had the three. He'll drive. Elbow Love J. It. Love it. Good. Boy on Bogdanovich. Running Giannis around the whole side of the court. Come on, Dan. Lillard drives into the lane. Fall away. Good. First real bucket of the game. Literally, Literally his first real shot of the game. Ten-point game, 8.20 to go. Deuce, he'll bring it up. To OG, OG to Dante, back to Deuce. Deuce inside, terrible pass. Come on, Deuce. Deuce. It'll go out of bounds off of Milwaukee. It'll be Nick's ball at midcourt with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Bogey's back good. Bogey looks good today. 13 points, 13 minutes. It is not the three-point shooting. It's that they're not getting 21 free throws a half. They've made seven threes. They're seven of 24, 29%. Brunson hands it off to Dante. Dante back to Brunson, who's checked in. He'll go one-on-one -on -one versus Connaughton. Clear it out. He'll drive. Snatch back. Dante, open. Triple. Bang! Nick's up 13. I told you, if you came out fast, they'll quit and roll over because they're frauds just like their coach. Soft team. Lillard to Portis, Portis three, good. He's the only one that's got heart on this team. Yep. Come on, someone get in his face. 7.30 to go. Brunson will walk it up the right side. Gets a screen from Dante. Now a screen from Robinson. It's one-on-one -on -one versus Lillard. He'll use the screen. It, He's doubled. Bogey, open three. Oh, he should have shot it the Great first shot. time. Still good. Okay. I still like the shot. 10-point game. Giannis and Dame, they'll run their two-man game. Dame kicks it. Connaughton, three. Good closeout by Bogey. Forces the miss. Rebound by Robinson. He'll throw it up head to Brunson. Knicks have Take numbers. It. Brunson into the lane. He's going to drive. And they're going to say out of bounds off Milwaukee. As FGC Hitman. Coming in with a $5 super chat. What's up, Brody? 
What's up, man? He says, you guys are the best. Let's go, Knicks. You are the best, brother. Thank you for supporting this channel. Brunson's going to drive on Connaughton. End of the lane. Floater up. No good, but he's fouled. But he's fouled. Brunson headed to the line for two free throws. We got 1,500 people watching. If you're subscribed to the channel, type me. If you're not subscribed, change it. It's the number one place on YouTube to hang out with 20,000 plus Knicks fans every single game. So if you're subscribed, drop a me in the chat right now. Where are the real ones at? As Brunson's first free throw, count it. If you're not subscribed, change it. Hit that sub button. You want the Knicks to win? Sub for dubs. Let's go. Can we get to 37,200? I know there's 27 people watching that are not subscribed. We got 1,500 in the building. We got one more week of this shit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Brunson, second free throw. Cash. Knicks up by 12. Season's almost over. Now's the time to jump on the bandwagon. Lillard oh, flops from three. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, Dame. Another Dame Lillard flop. Let's go. Everybody take a shot at home. Finish your beer if you're drinking. Another Dame flop. There we go. Everybody type flop in the chat. Oh, threw the head up. Dame, didn't even touch him. Didn't even touch him. Focus on <laughs> playing fucking basketball. Dame comes off the screen. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a dog, like, trying to get, like, water when he's swimming. <laughs> like, oh. He's so freaking lame, man. He is so lame. James about to shoot his 15th free throw of the fucking night. Willard trying to go Dame time. You know what that means. <laughs> the flopping is activated. The flopping is activated. Everybody type flop. Everybody give me a flop in the chat. Everybody give me a flop in the chat. Lamey and Lillard. Yep, Brian, I love that. Most overrated player in the NBA right now. It's embarrassing how he's, far he has fallen. Dude, it's a joke. It, I'm embarrassed for him. He's made one move the whole night. Nine-point game, 6.50 to go. It's far from over. Close it out. Brunson has it on the right side. Guarded by Dame. Gets a screen from oh, Robinson. Oh, he's got Dame running in circles. He'll launch. No good. Robinson with the board, but then he has it poked away by Portis. Here comes Giannis in transition. He's looking to get downhill. He'll spin on the Great baseline. Great D by the Knicks. Kicks it to Portis. Portis for three. Good. He's on fire. I think you got to get Hartenstein in the game. Yeah. You need somebody quicker out there. Portis, I mean, he's got to have – he's got 24 off the bench. Bobby Portis is a hooper. He is. Especially in these big time games, big time moments. He, I mean, he elevates. Great pass by Giannis, too, on that kick out. Bobby Portis is a hooper, man. <laughs> Dame's got 23 points on four made shots. I've never seen anything like <laughs> this in my life. Dude's got 23 points, and he's put the ball in the bucket four times. We are at a TV timeout, though. I want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. If you guys go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and when you're making your first deposit, plug in that promo code CLNS, and we'll match it up to $100. Get hooked up today. Even though the football season is not here, playoffs are just two weeks away. So start creating your lineups. Start rolling in the cash. It's super easy. You pick more than or you pick less than on some player stat projections. Help me and Marsh out. Download that. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Get your first deposit match up to 100. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, it's the same commercial. Remember? Oh, is it? Yeah. Dude, that sounds like it's literally coming outside the wall. Yeah. I mean, I'd, like, I'd be embarrassed if I was a Damian Lillard fan, and I still support him. Follow for follow. I'm dead, Tommy. What's up, bro? What's up, man? We got 1,500 people watching. If you haven't yet, 
subscribe to the channel. We're nine subscribers away from 37,200. <laughs> I'm dead. What's up, Vontae Lyles? What up, Dana Her? What up, Vasquez? What's up, Brian B? I think we should riot in the streets. Giuliano, is that true? Huh. The Knicks don't get any good refs in red states. I don't know what that means. What's up, Carter? I'm hungry. I'm good. I'm good right now. A little burger. Burger for lunch. Dave says one game behind the two seed if we win. I yes, do. sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Six-point game, six and a half minutes to go. Brunson will bring it up. He throws it in the corner. Dante drives, drops it off to Hardenstein, to OG. OG pump fake. Drive, layup, in the lane. Missed it. Rebound by Giannis. Here comes Portis. He'll drive, kick, Beasley, corner three. No good. Rebound by DiVincenzo. And he'll get it to Brunson. Come on. We need a good quality shot here. Brunson's going to put on the Jets. He's pumped. And he'll kick it out. Oh, and an OB open. Short. That didn't look good. Beasley will bring it up. OG has not found the three-point range yet. He'll force a steal, though, on Giannis. He may not make it, but he'll steal it. Brunson running, dancing, floater. He's fouled. They didn't call it. They didn't call it. Sir. Wow. 5.30 to go. Six-point game. Willard. Don't switch it. Guarded by DiVincenzo. And he'll just give it up to Portis in the corner. Great closeout by Ananobi. Portis in and out. That one was halfway down. This dude's on fire right now. Yeah. 5.15 to go. Brunson blows by Beasley. Drops it off to Hartenstein. Push shot. Up and in off the back iron. Hartenstein, let's go. Eight-point game. Hartenstein's been one of the best players on the floor. He's got 17 points. Eight of nine. Lillard up top, guarded by DiVincenzo. Watch the flop. He'll get it to a rolling Giannis, who swings it out to Lopez. Good, Good close out by Bogey. And then it's stolen. Hardenstein steals it. Then he's on the floor. Dante to Bogey. And he lays it up and in. Let's go, Knicks. Come on, man. What a fight. Lillard off the screen. Oh. Guarded by oh, Hartenstein. He'll take a step back three. Can't no do good. Nothing. You can't, can't do, do that. Do, 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 do. This ain't Portland shot. anymore, Seeps. Terrible shot. He's like actually a bad basketball no, player now. He, like, I actually think he's a net negative on the floor. He's terrible defensively. Can't beat anybody off the dribble. It's, what is he good at? I, except nothing. shooting 40 foot threes. He, Uncontested. Knicks back up by 10. Brunson up top. He's got Lillard on him. Ow. Go to work. Crossover. Blow by. Into the lane. Yep. Fall away. Bucket. Good. He's seconds. taking his little kid to school. He's dropping his kid off at the parking line. Brunson's got 41. Lillard. Cross court to Giannis. Giannis blocked. But they're going to call a foul. Unless OG and Obi is the strongest person in the world, he had Giannis leaning sideways. That's a foul. Like, you know, Brunson, I'll tell you what, I'll give Brunson credit. He has been looking for calls over the last two, three weeks. He has just been hooping over the last three games. I mean, what he has done, he has turned his game to another level with Randall being out. And they're going to need it. Dude's looking dangerous again. Knicks up by 12, 3.56 to go. Giannis is at the line. Travel vibes. I totally disagree. I think OG's look great. Giannis, free throw, good. Yeah, I think the shot looks a little questionable, but he hasn't played that much basketball in the year 2024. Um, I, I think his defense has been great. He missed that three seeps, and then he gets an on-ball steal versus yeah. Giannis. I mean, I mean, listen, he's got five points. He's two of ten. Like, obviously, if you just look at the box score, you're saying he had a bad game, but Thought he's been great, man. Giannis at the line. Made the first. Second one is also good. Back to a 10-point game as we're under four minutes to go. I just run a pick and roll Chenzo and 
Yeah, like yeah I'd get lowered on Brunson every time. They'll do the same. Brunson, drive to the right, now to the left. He's doubled. He'll get it to Dante. Dante inside to Hardenstein. The push shot. He's <laughs> fouled, and he almost got it to go again. He's hunting that area out, too. Like, he knows it. He, he, he knows he's hot from there. The Knicks are such a better basketball team than this fraudulent group they have up in Milwaukee. It's really not even close. No, it's not. Like Talk about playing the right way. You talk about process over results. You don't cheat hard. the grind. It's so like, much. It's so obvious who is a better basketball team. Like, it's not even close, man. As Hartenstein does miss the first. God, I almost get that three seed and get Milwaukee in round two. Come on, I Hart. Second free throw. Good. He's got 18 and nine. We're back to an 11 point lead. Um, Bronx boy, yeah, the studio supplies him and they're out. What the hell? Lillard, drive. He can't score. He has to kick it. Lopez, three. Good. Eight-point game, 3.30 to go. Come on. Dante up top. Brunson sets the screen. Love that way of getting him the ball versus Dane. You know they're going to double. Dante's got to be ready to shoot. Here comes the double. Dante has it. He'll play a little two-man game. Dante's going to have to launch. He will. Good! Dante DiVincenzo stares down Portis and says, Bang! It's an 11 point game! Put his hand up. Yep. He said, Oh, you're not going to close out? <laughs> Boom! Hand down, man Morgan down. Game. Well, we're into the lane. Layup Nothing. blocked! Nothing. He flopped and Looking didn't get it! Foul. That brother stinks! Keep on cooking, Dame. Less than three minutes to go. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one versus Giannis. He'll yep. pull up from deep. That was from Chicago. No good. Rebound by Ananobi. Oh, he kicks it out. Chenzo! Bang! Let's go, Knicks! That's we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Boom, boom, boom. Keep looking for fouls, Damian Lord. What a terrible basketball team they have there in Milwaukee. Oh, my God. They're bad for the game. They're bad for the league. And they're getting their ass blown out because of that. Let's go, Knicks. That's what I'm talking about. We'll see you, Doc. Fraud head coach. Fraud point guard. It's not going to work. It's embarrassing. Give me Milwaukee in round two. The Knicks might sweep them. I'm so serious. The Bucks, the only team they can beat in a playoff series is the Indiana Pacers. I think the Magic would do them in five. I think the Heat would. The Heat might sweep them. Philly would kill them. Come on, man. <laughs> you you knew the basketball gods were having that Chenzo three fall. Oh my god! It was just process, extra effort, offensive rebound, ball movement, play the right way. I mean, has like, what do the Bucks do on offense? Like you can see it Flop. with the Knicks. Like it, Flop. <laughs> Ever uh, since the refs got off the their knees up. in the first half, the Knicks have dominated, dominated. Sam Smith, it's because I appreciate the game of basketball too much to to let this guy do what he's been doing. It's embarrassing for him. Oh, it is. I used to love watching him play. The it's Knicks have outscored the the Bucks seeps in the second half by twenty five points. 25 points. You stop giving them fouls. You stop rewarding flops. You stop trying to self-create a star in Damian Lillard, and the Knicks come out and smack you in the mouth. Lopez up top. He'll drive, puts it on the next stolen by Ananobi. Brunson comes up with the loose ball. He may not have the offensive game back on track, but the game-wrecking nature he brings on the defensive end will continue to be there. Brunson drives at Lillard. Floater up and in. Damian Lillard. You can't guard him. Let's go. Knicks up 16. Two minutes to go. Lillard to Lopez. Says save me please. Now Giannis has it. Poked yeah. away by Hartenstein. Let's go. Move your feet. Move it's your feet. Giannis. He doesn't want it. He doesn't Come want on, it. Game. 
Now he gets it to Dame. Dame's yep. going to look to flop. No, he gives it up because I can't do it. Oh, Caught it in for three. Good. That's fine. That's fine. Take 20 seconds. It's fine. They got no offense. None. 13-point game, 90 seconds to go. 13-point game, 90 seconds to go. Dante, drive, kick. Out to Hart. Now back to Brunson. Brunson's doubled. He'll get it to Josh. Josh for yep. three. Oh, that was halfway down. I would have liked to have seen him drive there. Giannis, he's going to go coast to coast. Cut off by Ananobi. Finds Beasley in the corner. Three, good. God and man. Tom Thibodeau takes a time. No timeouts. Back to 10. It's back to 10. Anybody asking for the time? It's right there, brother. It's right there. As Dame fouls Ananobi 30 feet away from the basket. He can't hoop anymore. Dude, he's a bad, he's a bad product. The, the fall off of Damian Lillard as the Bucks empty their oh, bench and wave yeah. the white flag. See you, Doc. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. <laughs> hey, hey. Goodbye. 15 17 <laughs> in the last 32. See, they're down 10 with six, 70 seconds left and they quit. Uh, you know they're, they are cowards. They're cowards. They are cowards. I told you guys to start the fourth. Go back and watch it. Yep. You come out fast, you hit them in the mouth, and they'll quit. They'll roll over like your dog after you give them a treat. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come I back. I can't believe they quit like that. Brunson, swing, yep. Chenzo, three. See you, Doc. <laughs> Boom! Nick's up by big! Nick's up 13! Oh my god! That poor man, Adrian Griffin, got canned for this garbage. <laughs> These fuckers raved the white they towel! Right. They waved the white towel, baby! We got him in the ring! Boom, boom! Let's go, Nick's! This is the softest basketball team in the entire NBA. What a joke. They emptied the bench with 70 seconds down 10 what with Damian Lillard and Giannis. Oh, brother, this team stinks. Oh, my God. What a win for your New York Knicks. I'm so happy the refs actually let this be a basketball game. Let's fucking go, man. We'll see you, Dame. We'll see ya. We play basketball. When it goes from a flop show to a hoop game, you run them out of the fucking building. Yep. Run them out of the building. God, I want them in the playoffs so bad. I'm going to say something, and I know a lot of people, and maybe I, I, this is 100% prisoner of the moment right now. I think Deuce McBride is more effective on the basketball court than Damian Lillard. It's not even a crazy thing to say. Like, I'd rather have Deuce McBride. Deuce won't take the bad shots. He'll play his ass off defensively. Dame is just a foul merchant. Can't be nobody off the dribble anymore. Dude, what happened to him? It's a joke. Jay Liv. My... I and Josh Hart is pounding Co New York. Hey. I don't know what that means, but Jay Liv, how about that win, brother? How about that win, Jay Liv? I wasn't nervous at all. Eric Trump. Wahaha. 420 left in the game. Haven't gotten that in a while. Getting the W. OG a difference maker. Chicago slob knob, still F Roley. E D, shout out to you. Natalie, come on, you just talking. Dame is still Dame. You didn't watch a possession of that game. Who it just is said not that? the same Damian Lillard. Oh, man. Oh, sweetie. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Marsh and I have told you guys about countless things on this channel before they actually happen. We're going to be talking about Damian Lillard. Oh, look at this, dude. So they won the third quarter by 15. They won the fourth quarter by nine. That means they outscored them by 24 in the second half. 11 point, yeah, 24. It was 11 points at half. So 61 to 50. Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson. Jalen effing Brunson. That's how you show up. Following a loss, too. You need that. That's how you hoop, brother. 
wasn't looking for calls today either. He was just straight up hooping. What a win. What a win. Tom Saunders says, F that flopper. His number fits him. Big zero. Yeah. I, I am honestly embarrassed for anybody that has ever oh. called themselves a Damian Lillard fan. And you know what? I'm embarrassed because you got a bunch of dudes. Listen, I watch a lot of sports TV. You got guys like Nick Wright, like all these guys who are still in love with the Bucks. And I almost fell into that trap a little bit. You know, when they fired Adrian Griffin, they went on a little bit of a run. This is a terrible basketball team. Like, this is not a good basketball team. Their process is awful. It's either they run pick and rolls trying to get a mismatch, and then they look for fouls. And they are lucky that they got a great supporting cast. Like Malik Beasley, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis, Pat Connaughton. Like, shout out to those guys. Great, great group of role players. You get 24 from Connaughton off the bench. Or Portis. Portis had 24. Uh, yeah, yeah, Portis. 24 from Portis off the bench. 15 shots. Like... Damian Lillard finishes with 23 points, 6 assists, 4 turnovers, 4 of 11. 4 made shots. 4 made four shots. Made shots. Say it with me. That brother stinks. He's not good anymore. <laughs> that, that Damian Lillard guy stinks. <clears throat> I mean, you said it. What is he an A at? He doesn't have an A handle. He's not an athlete anymore. He, he in, Look, unless it's a shoot. deep open three, I have no fear at all of None. Damian Lillard. If I was Josh Hart right now, and I'm so serious about this, I would go on my podcast and I would call Damian Lillard the biggest cooked product in the world because I would want him him in an aggressive mindset when you're playing him because he is terrible. He cannot get any shots anymore. He's just a bad, he's just a bad basketball player, man. Oh, worst, worst contract in the league by far, Josh. Damian Lillard really started the all-star game over Jalen Brunson. Think about that. People That's love. why you don't watch that mainstream media bullshit and you hang out with us. S my man, Seal Pasito. He says, that felt good. Let's go. Next. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go, Knicks, man. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. My guy Jay Liv coming in with a $2 super chat. Shout out to Jay Liv. He says that was exhilarating. That felt like a playoff game. And it should. Because we're, we're seven days left in the regular season. And we are 13 days away from game one. We are 13 days away from game one. Let's freaking go. As my guy J10 coming in with a $10 super chat. We appreciate you, brother. Says, gentlemen, big dub. Hartenstein is going to be big when they double Jalen in the playoffs. Needs to average a double-double. Bogey needs to be as good as he was today. Mitch Robb is back. Let's He's go, back. Knicks. He's back. Bogey. Mitch Robb. Like, that was an elite performance from them. And with no Randall coming back, you're going to need Boyan Bogdanovich to be able to score the basketball. I'll give you 15 on 17 minutes. And also, Bogey, he's a guy after, dude, he can get a shot whenever the hell he wants. Yeah. Like, he talk about snake dribble all the time. Then we throw that word. Like, he snake dribbles better than anybody. You know, that push ahead, gets a dude on his back, then he can fade away to his pull of midi. I'm with you, J10. And Mitch, he looks like he's got his legs under him. He's starting to get into more shape. That's only going to continue to get better. Guy hasn't played real basketball um, since December. And better and better and better and better. Hell of a win. Hell of a win. Joey DeLuca, my man. What's up, Brody? How about those Knicks, baby? How about those Knicks? As the Knicks are still in the four seed because the Orlando Magic won. But Seeps, they have the same record. The Magic just have the tiebreaker. You are one game back of the two seed. Yeah. One game back of the two seed. And this Bucks team is in a free-for-all right now. Wow. Anthony Danaher, my man. 
$10 super chat from the Bang God. What's up? What's up, AD? Marsh, got to do a soul video on the flops alone this week. It was ridiculous. It's a terrible product. Um, I, like, I still stand by that. Like, the NBA, like, that's not what you want, man. Like, don't reward these guys. Just throwing your head back. That's all it takes. Contact, head back. Like, contact, head back. Foul. Every time. Huge win. Huge win, Dana. Huge. Shipmaster Kyle says, F-Flop City. Let's go, mix. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. John saying you. If the Bucks didn't get free throws, this would be a blowout. It was a blowout. It, it was a blowout. And <laughs> How many free throws did they shoot? They shot... <laughs> shot 32 fucking free throws. 32 free throws? They had 27 points off free throws. They tried to cheat their way to a win, and they still got blown out. Knicks made 10 more shots than them. The Knicks shot seeps. 20 more shots, right? Or 17 more shots. 17 more shots than them. I just saw the vision with Milwaukee. They are losing in the first round of the playoffs. I don't know how they don't. Bad ball club, man. Johnson, you. We love you, brother. EC. He says, just got home from work. I can't believe we actually beat the Bucks this badly. It should have been worse. The, the NBA kept it a game for the so, first half. It was a three-point game with about a minute and a half left in the first half. Then the next 30 minutes of real time was the Bucks shooting eight free throws. I mean. They're, it's bad process. When, when basketball was played, and it wasn't a ref show, and it wasn't a free throw game, it wasn't even close who the better team was. It wasn't. Um, you take free throws out of this. So that would add another nine points to the Knicks. They would have won by 20. If you just remove the free throw difference. Wow. Um, God, the Knicks are back, though. I felt that physicality. In that I did, half. too. Second half, they beat broke. up They beat up a bigger team. Like, think about Giannis. Giannis. Giannis had a couple moves. Beat OG off the dribble. But then OG fights back, walls him up, and then Mitch Robb, weak side, coming and playing defense. Like, you beat up a physical team. Like, the Knicks are starting to feel like that again. That's all. I mean, Josh Hart and OG Ananobi were 4 of 19. I will give Josh Hart this credit. He is the best cutter, and, like, I don't even know what it is. Like, that little dribble handoff where it's, like, an assist and a screen. Like, like nobody does it better than Josh. He had nine assists again tonight. Him and OG are so impactful without scoring the basketball. They had 11 points combined, and they, they, just, they just play the ball the right way, man. I love it. I love it. Never forget Draymond Green said at the All-Star game that Damian Lillard was better. That's that. That is awful. Tell me, if I was Josh Hart, I would go call Damian Lillard trash right after the game. Hopefully, you get them in the playoffs, and then Dame thinks like, "Oh, I gotta have my revenge." Let him do all that. Shit. What is he good at anymore? Seriously, I, I don't know. He's not good at getting to the rim. He's not fast. Can't shoot anymore. He shoots forty-two percent from the field and thirty-five percent from three, both below league average. And he's a terrible defender. Hey, he was an all-star starter and the all-star MVP, though. And according to major media, better than Jalen Brunson. I would rather have Miles McBride on the Bucks than Damian Lord, and I fully mean that. Next to a guy like Giannis, like, it's not a good fit. Serrano, yeah, he's good at flopping. Oh, he's, he's, he's got a strong neck because I don't know how he doesn't. Wow. I'm about, I, I am willing to bet anybody – Right now in the chat, Damian Lillard shoots less than forty percent from the field in the playoffs. I yeah, I I, I agree with Whatever that. Whatever you want, I agree any with amount that. of money. I agree with that. Um, Steven Chenzo had a hell of a second half. He did. He we'll did. get to the stats he... in a second. Avery Jackson says, "Is Josh Hart the East Coast Draymond?" I think he's a little better. 
right now? Um, just different, just different, different. just different. Um, yeah, pause. I, that's on me. I thought you guys would miss that one. I thought you guys would miss that one. That's on me. Players fuck up. Players fuck up. That's on me. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Avery Jackson, I would say no, but they impact the game in similar ways. They impact the game in similar ways. It felt like in the first half, even Chenzo was kind of sloppy. Second half, he took off. Dude, when he gets open shots, it feels like it's just... Also, he's shooting with so much swagger right now, like after the two threes in the fourth, going and yapping at the Bucks bench, because this is why, big time moments, got these Villanova cats, and like, you know, I think... Like, Marshall and I, we talked about it. It's almost bad to watch every single game of a regular season just because it's so up and down and, like, you freak out over games. But, like, in these big, big moments still, I mean, these dudes show up and play. That was a playoff game. If you're going to double Brunson, DiVincenzo's going to get open looks. Yeah, I want to see a couple of times. I want to see him attack that yeah. right away. Like, he's get him looking, into more rotation. Yeah, like, I understand. He's hunting his jump shot. But, like, just go right away, man. I just... William Burton dropping the eye emoji. What does that mean? I remember when people used to drop the eye emojis all the time, and then they were they were doing big time. That was a CPJ special. That was. That was a CPJ special. He started that. As F. Walter in the building. The Brunson burner was on tan. He was on tan. He was. He was, Walter. He was on 10. No doubt about it. Um. Six and eight. That's why, that's why I believe in him. That's why I think he can be a one A. Um, that's why I hold him to that standard. Exactly. I was that, just gonna say that. The reason I, I hold him to such a high standard is because he has earned that right. He has earned that right. Um, that's why when he has bad games, we are going to be critical because that standard of Giannis, Jokic, LeBron. You mean he outplayed Giannis? He one hundred percent outplayed Giannis. He was the best player on the floor today. Um, she makes the right decision over and over again, man. He is. And he, and he, <sighs> Everybody, I want you. And there's, he, he, could, he could be better, too. He, he can. He, dude, he just gets that little freaking floater so easily. I want everybody to look right now. Look at Jalen Brunson's field goal, Okay. Then I'm going to click the space button. See this? 16 to 32. 4 of 11. Dude made four shots, and he played 39 minutes of basketball, and he made four shots, and he had 23 points. It is a problem for the NBA. Nobody wants to watch this. It's a joke. And I'm sure people will look at this box score and be like, oh, Dame had 23, 4, and 6. Oh, he didn't play that bad. He was the worst basketball player on the floor today. Not even close. Yeah, he, he's cooked. He's cooked. If he's you're a Heat good. fan, you have to be thanking God that he's not on your team. All the people yelling at Pat Riley, Roley, in the offseason, I think he made the right call. By far the right call. Taylor Rozier might be better right now. He might. Dude, he might. He doesn't do anything. Crazy. Jay Liv, this is why basketball rules. Nothing like it. Yeah, well, it was not fun in the first half. It was, it was a terrible uh, game in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, I don't think this is like, if I had to show this game of basketball, I don't, I don't think I'd show them this game because. The ups and downs, the highs and lows. It's a terrible product sometimes in the NBA. I, I'll stand by that. That was a hell of a win, though. That was a hell of a win. This dude just makes me want to go to work the next day. You know what I mean? Like, he's just a guy like, what do you got to complain about? I'm going to put my nose down and work. 7-9-9. Nine, nine. Got a broken freaking wrist. Can't shoot the ball. But he's finding the little ways to impact the game. The thrills, Jay Liv. There, are, there were a lot of thrills. That's for sure. You're a young and up-and-coming basketball player. And you want to just watch one dude. 
to take notes of when your jump shot's not falling, watch Josh Hart. Watch the way he crashes the glass. Watch the way he gets his easy shots for teammates. Like, textbook every single time. Profit. Profit. Go, Knicks. We the best in the East. I'm with you. Um. I love this. I love this is the stat line we get to show for this dude. 1.6 rebounds. Three blocks. It's not showing up, but so impactful tonight. You felt him. You felt you felt Mitch. Giannis felt what? him in the second half. Giannis, I thought, didn't play all that well in the second half. Well, he started off 7-9. to nine. So he's 3 of 11 in the second half. Yeah, I thought the Knicks did a really good job on Giannis in that second half. Um, Knicks are a terrible matchup for the Bucks. Like a terrible matchup. Look at that. Like showing some of the highlights right now. Like Mitchell Robinson was a dude, man. What do you have? How many blocks? Three. Should it? they also they got OG as only four steals, two blocks tonight. Feels like it was more than that. It was way more than that. He did not only have four steals. He like three point shot didn't look great. Still got two weeks to get that right. I don't like. But I'm not worried about that. I, what he does defensively is like. It's, it's incredible. It's literally an edge rusher in football. Like it's Lawrence Taylor, what he does. His his defensive. Just the way that he changes the game on that end is kind of crazy. I mean, I kind of saw it today. Like you remember when the Knicks were playing the Spurs and like. Dudes coming off pick and rolls. They were scared to go at Wemby, which is going to happen because of how good he is. Like, they were scared to take OG off the dribble. Like, Giannis thought about it a couple times. Dame looked scared. Dame had piss running down his leg. He said, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's OG. It's OG. Yes, Giannis. Giannis will be losing in the first round of the playoffs. And it's not his fault. It's the team around him. They stink. I would demand a trade if I was him. I would, too. You gave me – you fire my coach – you go get Doc Rivers. You got rid of Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. That, that is awful. That was a Hollywood trade. Oh, that was a 2K trade. Oh, yeah. That was like, oh, we can just make it work. Fit doesn't matter. Dame. You, know, you, you lost your identity. You're not a defensive team anymore. You're not? Also, like Drew, even though he's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, like, he was a big dude. Dame's small on the basketball floor. Chicago, Giannis. We'll shoot you right. He's going to be the best two in the league when he's a Nick. Y'all ain't got that, man. Why not? Randall, Mitch, six first rounders? Randall, Mitch, six first rounders? <laughs> no, that's unfair. I'm not slowing that down. With OG, they can go far. Without him, they're toast. Agreed, Jalen. Yeah, Dame should just rap and uh, retire and become a rapper. Stinks at that, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Joy DeLuca, I'm just trying to help inform you guys. Robert, would Dame flop like this in a video game? Yeah, he's got flopping on gold. He's got that Hall of Fame badge. Ricardi says, I don't want Giannis on the Knicks. Um, I do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Trust me. I do. You want to you win a couple championships over the next six years? Yeah, I'll take him. I'll take a starting line of Avi Hart, Mitch, OG, Dante, and Brunson. Yeah. I'll take that. Anybody I'll says, take anybody that. Anybody who says they don't want Giannis is literally the second best or not. Like, he's the second best player in the league. Junior, bogey, look good. Let's just do a quick post-game show just talking about the okay. game. So I can put that out in the morning. Do prize picks on that. What about the diving steal by Hartenstein? Getting on the ground? Oh, yeah. Oh, first when he tripped up Dame. Dame didn't start crying. CPJ, you were on that. You were on that, CPJ. 
And we don't need DM, though. G give me DD. I want DDV at the two with Giannis at the four. That's funny. That was a lot of fun, Jay Liv. That was a lot of fun. All right. Let's talk about it. The New York Knicks beat the Milwaukee Bucks 122 to 109. And when the NBA refs stop trying to decide the outcome of the game like they did in the first half, and they just let the boys hoop, the Knicks blew them out of the water. If you actually watch this game, it is not close who the better basketball team is when it comes to process, when it comes to coaching, when it comes to skill, when it comes to chemistry, when it comes to teamwork, when it comes to effort, when it comes to hustle. But most importantly, when it comes to mental toughness, the New York Knicks are on another level than the Milwaukee Bucks. At halftime, the New York Knicks were down by 10 points. In the second half, the New York Knicks outscored the Milwaukee Bucks by 24 points. It's because they stopped getting to the free throw line every single time they flopped. We were calling it the Dame on the show. Everybody do the Dame. So Damian Lillard does every time he gets contact. This man flopped his way into a travel on a three-point shot. I am embarrassed for Damian Lillard. It, it is embarrassing how bad of a basketball player he has been, become. We'll talk about them later. Let's talk about our team. Jalen Brunson, this, this, this is the player um, that's going to take us to where we need to get to. This is why I hold him to the standard that we do. This is why I believe he could be the best player on a championship team. Draymond Green told us at the All-Star game that Damian Lillard was better than Jalen Brunson. He clearly doesn't watch much basketball. It was not even close who was the better player. Jalen Brunson is so much better than Damian Lillard. He's a shell of himself. He really is. And if I'm playing the Bucks, my defensive game plan is to make Damian Lillard beat me off the dribble. He can't beat anyone off the dribble anymore. All he could do is shoot deep threes. And he was 1-7 tonight, and he's only shooting 35% from the field from three this year. Hasn't been good. Dame, thanks thanks for playing, but you're not even close to the player that Jalen Brunson is. Brunson went at him. He went at him. He cooked him. He, he smoked him. He rolled him up and <laughs> smoked that Bucks pack. Dante DiVincenzo hit big-time shot after big-time shot. In that second half, um, still would like to see him be a little bit more aggressive in hunting shots from the foul line down. Only shot three twos in tonight's game, but when you shoot eight of 11 from three, um, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I, I, I've said it months ago. I'll continue to say it. Dante DiVincenzo will be the swing piece in a series. You get a guy to shoot 8 of 11 from 3 in a playoff game, you're going to win more times than not. And he's going to get open shots. Isaiah Hardenstein played his tail off. Uh, I was very critical of the way the big man played against the Chicago Bulls. I thought Hardenstein played soft. I thought Mitchell Robinson played soft. Uh, the Bulls dominated you with Vucevic and Drummond. And I, I, I know they don't listen to me, but I challenged them on my show to come out and play better. Hardenstein played his ass off. He was electric, extra effort. Extra, extra effort. He was incredible. That little push shot he's got from that dotted line in the paint has almost become automatic. Eight and nine from the field. 18 points, 10 rebounds. What was crazy is only one assist for him. That's become such a big part of his game, but he found a way to get it done on the other ends. He has one steal, like, just, just really good. Mitchell Robinson looked good. I know you look at it, one rebound, 1.6 blocks, or 1.6 rebounds, three blocks. Uh, probably not all that good, but I think if you watch this game, you saw the impact that he makes for this ball club. Um, just keep getting healthy. Keep getting in shape. Keep working. Keep cooking. And let's, start, let's hit our stride on April 20th when we got game one. We'll look at the standings in a second. We'll talk more about this game around the corner. 
but just light up the comment section for me. Give me an LGK in the chat. One of the most fun wins of the season. The watch party went crazy. Over 25,000 people tuned in. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Give me an LGK in the chat if you're proud about that win. Make sure you are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, as well. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. And they'll match your first deposit up to $100. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players and you simply pick more or pick less on the projected stat line that Prize Picks has for each and every player. The more players you have on your lineup, the higher the payout will be. I also love how Prize Picks has new and uh, new deals for new and returning users all the time. Um, you're watching this video on Monday. Get your lineup in for the national championship tonight and uh, play Prize Picks. Now's the time with the NBA action heating up in the playoffs around the corner. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and let match your first deposit up to $100. I know a lot of people are maybe freaking out about OG and an OB and the lack of production that he gave in the on the offensive end of the floor. But if you watch the game, he may have been the most impactful player in this game on the defensive end. I think he had four steals, two blocks, had a great play on Giannis. Uh, he had a steal. We, we call him stocks, blocks, and stocks. He had six of them tonight. And that shot's going to come. It's going to come. Did it look a little bit flat? Did it look a little bit short? No doubt about it. But I legitimately think he is the best wing defender in the NBA. And the, his game-wrecking ability on that end, it really changes games. Giannis, ask Giannis about OG. He'll be like, he ain't no scrub. He, he's tough. He's big. I couldn't bully him. Um, he was really, really good. And Josh Hart. Dude, dude's got a sprained wrist. Can't shoot. Said he can't shoot. Still knocked down a three. Seven points. Nine rebounds. Nine assists. Um, electric. Electric. He was great. Um, Deuce McBride was great. Let's, let's talk about Deuce and um, Bogey. Around. We can go to this. Deuce and bogey uh, around whatever you want to do. Uh, we can go to the stats or the, the show bogey stats. With Bogdanovich, he's not been good since he's been here. But three of the last four games, he has been good. And with it official that Randall is not coming back, you're going to need Bog bogey to score. And from the first moment, it looked like he was locked in. He gets to that mid-range spot. He'll knock it down. The three-point shot still hasn't been there. Only one shot there made it. Um, that's coming along. But, man, 15 points in 16 minutes for Bogey. Um, Knicks needed every single one of those, and they're going to need him in the playoffs to be be a guy that can come in and hit shots and be a bucket getter. Love, love the confidence he showed over the last week, three of the four games. He was really, really good. Wasn't that good against the Bulls, but I do like the way he's looked besides that. And then Deuce McBride. <laughs> I mean, every game. Every game now, it's like, oh, here's Deuce. Here's Deuce. Another eight points, two more threes. Had a couple of boards, had an assist. Gave you good stuff on the defensive end. Three steals for him. Didn't turn the ball over. That was a big part in this win as well. You only had one, two, three, five turnovers. Five turnovers. Um, they had 14. That's a major reason you won this game. You beat them on the glass and you win the turnover battle. You're going to win more games. Than not. So what does this win mean now? You are in the fourth seed. You're technically tied with the Orlando Magic in the three seed, but the Magic do have the upper hand on you when it comes to the tiebreaker. But, important, Milwaukee and Orlando play each other in two of their final four games next week. So the Knicks will gain ground on one of them each night. There's a legit possibility, as the Knicks are a game back of the two seed, that they could be the second seed entering the Eastern Conference. My question to you is this. Who do you want to play in round one? Who do you want to play in round one? Sound off for me down in the comment section. And man, oh man, it's getting closer and closer. Um, wow. Four games left. Four games left. And then it's time. And then it's time. Can't believe the season has gone by this fast. It's, it's been so fun. It's been so fun watching these games with all you guys and hanging out and just
Let's be a Knicks fans, man. I'm sad it's coming to a close, but I can't wait for what's in store as we get to April. April hoops, maybe May hoops, and hopefully June hoops. How about we do this for two more months? How about we do this for two more months? Chicago, Boston, Brooklyn, Chicago. Then it's playoffs. Then it's playoffs. Hit that thumbs up icon for me. And let's go, Knicks. That's good stuff, man. Four games left is kind of crazy. This is a good basketball. Like that was that was a good win for the league. Yeah. That was fun. Gonna have to deal with the angry bulls though on Tuesday. Angry bulls for sure. Angry bulls. Awesome win, man. Literally, the refs swallowed the whistles in the second half, and it wasn't even a game. It wasn't even a game. No. First half was a joke. Uh, that's good stuff right there. That's good stuff right there. Bagman wants to play Indiana. 34th free throw attempts, Johnson, you? 34? Dame had 15 and took one layup. <laughs> Bad product. It's honestly kind of impressive how he flops on three pointers. Dude. Like that, he comes that, off the screen and like creates contact with his own guy and then flops. <laughs> Dude, the one he flopped and there was nobody near him. Like, like I get feeling contact and then. You can throw your head up, but whatever. But like the dude, he just has no feel for it anymore. Yeah, he, he is not the guy he once was. No. And that's okay. But the league doesn't need to pamper his way to start him anymore. Like, no. to be honest, who cares about Damian Lillard? No. no why, why are we trying to manufacture his stardom in this league? Who the hell has a Damian Lillard Bucks jersey that's Nobody. not a Bucks fan? Bucks fans don't even like him, probably. Like, Bronx boy, huge win for Johnson U on his birthday. Yes. Huge win for Johnson third, U. Third win this year on Johnson U's birthday. Big. Great win, J.U. What are you doing for your birthday tonight? Hey, Foley, get off, uh, get off Bogey's hair like that. You're fucked up. You're an old man. We're, th we're f one and four, I'm pretty sure, versus the Bucks. I think we're one and four. One and four is what we are against the Bucks. I don't think we had beat them yet this year. So if the season ended today, we'd be playing the Cavs in round one with home court advantage. I'll take yeah. that. Are they smoking Indy? Yes, Billy. Why if, am I scared get, of Indy? If they get the three and it's Indiana and then it's Milwaukee in the next round. Oh, they are in the conference finals. They are 100% in the conference finals. Are they smoking Indy, dude? Yeah, it's going to be in four games. What, do you, what is Indiana going to do? I don't know why, but I get the heebie-jeebies when it comes to the Indiana Pacers. Maybe Jay Liv will From understand. Indiana? Marsh, you're doubting your own basketball knowledge right now. I don't know. I'm not. I We are a way better team than them. A way better team, dude. Not even close. I, I'm <laughs> telling you. It's fucking TJ McConnell, dude. Why am I scared of TJ McConnell? He had 22 against the Heat today. Dude, he's good. And know, Deuce can't he's... guard him. He's the one player that Deuce can't guard. Playoff series, Deuce is sitting. <laughs> Neesmith is kind of tough. Not in the playoffs, dude. Halberton, three to ten today. 
stuff. Let me let me go check Hal Burton's stats since the All Star break. Please do. I mean, they're not good. That damn smile he has. It's so it's so. It's just some. God, he has been struggling. Halliburton, since the All-Star game, is averaging 17 points and 9.5 assists on 44% from the field and 30% from three. Nobody's going to be five points. I ain't worried about Indy. We ain't worried about that Indy. Up and down pace, to It's... We're... Give me Indy round one, Milwaukee round two, and we're going dancing in the Eastern Conference Finals, and then the Celtics will Celtic. See, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually worried about Orlando. Orlando? Just because they... I Not like, if you have OG, dude. OG is dominating Bancaro in a freaking playoff series. No, I, I, I know he is, but... Maybe Bancaro in five years. First time in the playoffs going against OG, that's... No, it's a terrible matchup, but... I just, I just believe in their... What they're doing now. They're oh, yeah, they're going to be a good team for a long time. Cavs... Donovan Mitchell healthy. He didn't play again today. Like Monte Lyles with the best question of the day. Who's better, Alec Burks or Damian Lillard? Who would I rather have next to Giannis? I'd rather have a guy like Alec Burks. <laughs> 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 See, what does he do well, guys? Thanks, Levi's. A little bit of a joke there, but point <laughs> being, like, I mean, he's terrible. Marsh. How Marsh's mood changes game to game. Yeah, because his team looks like a first-round exit to, like, they change game to game. Don't be on my shit hard. <laughs> Will we be happy when they lose? Is that what you want? You want me to be all, whoop, whoop, Knicks lost, whoop, whoop. Like, what? Y'all are, are funny as hell, man. You know Dame? Yeah, how many teams did their, did their team win 33 games? No. God, this dude shoots 100 free throws. I'm looking at his game log. I don't, I don't love playing Miami in the playoffs. I don't want to play them. No, Miami. No, we don't want Miami. That would be the worst case scenario if it's Miami. Or Philly. If it's <laughs> somehow Philly in the 2-7 and that's how it ends up, I'm going to be so Three seed. Pissed. We want the three seed. Yeah, you do not want or the two seed. I'm Tony. You don't want the two. We want the three seed. It was Indiana or Cleveland. We're smoking them. We're smoking them. <laughs> that seven seed is either going to be the Heat or the six. <laughs> so maybe the Heat are frauds. They just kind of have our number. Because <laughs> they play basketball. Like they play. It. They play it the right way. They, they haven't they seen us at our way. shit though. They haven't seen us with OG. Oh, wait, they did. That was the game they had to hurt Randall because we beat him by 20. Only reason I don't want to play Miami is because they have freaking uh, whoever the center is, the dirtiest player in the league. True. Bam out of bio. He'll probably freaking step on Brunson's neck. Celtics, 15 game lead. <laughs> He just played dirty exactly, John Pettit. Exactly. All righty. We're going to sign off on today's show. Shout out to you guys. Awesome stream. We'll be back live on Tuesday. Until then, let's go Knicks.